Good morning, good morning. It's the Sunday Morning Breakfast Radio Show. Call us up, 516-900-2278. We are the Weekend Review Show. We do this every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. All on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you for watching. We are here. We are live. Uh, voice, what's the matter? What's, what's wrong with the face? Something new looking like in the chat. I guess when people are joining now, you could actually have an independent chat with them. Uh, we, and we don't definitely, we definitely don't need that whatsoever. <laughs> independent chats with our thread. Listen, I love our thread, and we, we, we always encourage people to join the thread and, and comment and say their few pieces. But you know what, Tab? Individual yeah, comments. Good on those chats. Yeah. yeah, Boris, can you do us a favor? Can you get your friend Crystal from downstairs? Because okay, she's downstairs. Because that is so apropos to uh, what happened uh, yesterday, yeah. the events of yesterday. So. Uh, I want to first thank everybody uh, for coming out to the uh, baby shower. We had a great time. Yeah. Yes, yes. Had a, we, had a, we had a beautiful baby shower. Um, and then, uh, you know, while I'm sitting there, and I'm, I, was, I was a little depressed, though. I, I was sitting there like, you know, this is a great event, and, and it's, it's, it's so nice and so fun. But, man, my friends are missing. My, my, my SMB radio friends are right here. sad music when I need it. <laughs> and so I just didn't have that same, I just didn't have that, that good feeling inside until Crystal came. Now, Crystal comes, she gets there around, uh, I would say, 2.45. So it was from 1 to 5 o'clock. So she walks in with a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> and so the yeah. shadow overcomes the whole room. Smalls was with her. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. And then I look up further, and I'm like, oh, your, your boyfriend's here. So Smalls was there, uh, and he was uh, nice enough to participate. And um, we played some games with everybody, so he was there. But you know what? I was like, you know, Crystal, it was great having you here. <laughs> it's so dope that you're here, but... Uh, it still feels a little empty. It still feels a little <laughs> bit incomplete. So the party's almost ending, and, you know, Corinne's like, Yo, are you all right? Like, you seem a little off. And I was like, I, I don't feel right. Like, I just feel like something's missing. And then right on time, as my depression <laughs> is overtaking my emotions, uh, these two gentlemen, Bino and Voice, they walk in the last 15 minutes of the uh, baby shower, which uh, thank you guys so much for sort of making the attendance. It, it now, listen, Bino, I, I know you. So once I saw you walk in with him, I said, well, you mu he must have been your ride. Correct. Thus why you're probably late. I'm glad you. Okay, I put you into the game. puzzle. Yes, <laughs> yes, I put you, you into the to spin the wheel. Any not fire, at yes. all. Not at all. No more not vowels. You're good. I'll yes. tell you what happened. We were there. We were there. We just we were blocked by Smalls. He's too big. That's Bull all it was. Shit. No, okay. no, no. As soon as he came in, you saw the shadows. All the lights came in. I was in the steps. First of all, good morning, beloved. I was good in the morning, steps. Crystal. Thank you for coming. When the Thank dust you. settled time. <laughs> and the smoke cleared, there was Bino and voice. So, so here's the deal, right? Yes, please explain what happened. I, I discussed this with you last week. Absolutely. I said the shower starts at 1. Since I'm not part of the, rec the rec decorating committee, right, right. spec me around 2.30-ish, 3. Which yes? is fine. Perfectly fine. The day before, I even reached out to your beloved at Corinne. Right. So what time is it the shenanigans at? Well, here's a, here's a problem with that. Now, mm -hmm. you can't ask her because she's not part of the... She didn't, but she gave me a nice round figure. She said uh, five. I okay. said, cool. Okay. I'll have two hours of action. Right. I'll kiss some old ladies. I'll throw some kids in there. It'll be a good time. Right. Yes, absolutely. I hit up call. I see, yo, what time are you going out there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll be out there. Uh, 2.30, blah, blah, blah. Right. I said, listen, don't go chasing waterfalls. Maybe three should be your goal. Right. I know. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. He assured me. He said, damn that. I'm chasing waterfalls and rivers and all that bullshit. I absolutely. said, cool. <laughs> Fine. Right. I said, I expect you 2.30. Okay. 2.30, I'm sitting there in the crib. Look at the watch. 2.45. Right. Okay, cool. Three o'clock hits. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I'm saying to myself, all right, by 3.10, I'm going to start calling him. Mm -hmm. I called him so much I got uncomfortable. <laughs> like I don't call my girl as much. I was blowing his phone up, yo. Right, right. Straight to he voicemail. Yes. If you need a T-Mobile phone, reach out to him. <laughs> straight voicemail. I'm like yo, what the hell's going on? It got to the point where I said to myself, I said, yo, you know what? Let me just catch a cab. Yes. I'll meet him there. Yes. If Uber, ever, Lyft. If ever, because I don't know what baby shower he's making. Maybe right. your third child. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> right, 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 right. By the time I hit the cab up, here he goes. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm like, what the hell happened? I had a flat tire. I had to fix it myself. Right. Imagine. I don't want to fix it myself. Right, right, right. Imagine right. this guy under some car. <laughs> Wait, T-Mobile doesn't have roadside. Exactly. It's a, it's you a know great, how long it takes for a roadside to come through? <laughs> I'd be waiting hours. No, I'm you're, good. You're, you're a high nah, priority for them. I moseyed myself at two miles an hour to the next place. I was right. good. Right. You, you definitely moseyed. Right. What? <laughs> you definitely First of all, the, the face on Bino when they walked in. Well, he looked at me like, you know what it is. So. I made him walk in yeah. first. So, now yeah. we walk in. so we walk in. The place is, is like, it's like a bar. 
and the right. shower was downstairs in the basement. Yes, absolutely, yeah. So we get to the bar, mm-hmm. we get in, and there's a door. We open the door, no kind of access. Right. So we walk in through the bar. And the bar is one of them Spanish bars that I'm look like right. it's like a drug front. Right. Like, it's actually, it's you like know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. It's cute. Carlos Escobar, Pablo Escobar's bar. Right. So we walk in and the Spanish people immediately look at us. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm like, yo, listen, we're just here for a baby shower. We don't want no problems. And you mad quiet. I'm, yeah, like, and I'm like, yo, uh, did I miss like the Like a dude shower? was eating and he... <laughs> to look at us I'm like Yo, what, what was going on here If it wasn't for them Two balloons on that door I was Thank like Thank you It was the balloon And, it was and there was a waitress The waitress Down CS puto So I was like I, I was like Yo voice do me a favor Walk in first Cause I knew What was gonna happen I'm in the middle of the stairs Voice is already down I hear Oh look who's inside Is coming to the party <laughs> Yes, so, um, and yeah, you guys walked in. It was like, yeah, we were packing up and everything. Um, we were at, like, the tail end of the um, of the festivities. The so very we were, tail end. Yo, yeah. the games were done. Yeah, yeah games were Only done. Only potato salad was left. And by the way, who, who won so many? First of all, the she won. Of the, the couple of the night. Yeah, no, I'll give her credit. Excuse they me? Won, she won the, you won the first game. What was the, What was that game? The, uh, the, oh. The, the baby songs. The baby songs or whatever. And so Crystal wins that. And then Smalls wins the other game. I can't. And I'm like, I can't with Smalls playing games. I can't. <laughs> right. Dude, no, he's really a competitive person. I'm telling you. Like, he was not playing either. Like, they were playing Give Bingo or and that's, whatever. And that's how I knew we were late. <laughs> right. Because his ass was comfortable. Mm-hmm. I've seen him get out of the car, and it took about half hour for him to get out the car. <laughs> right. I came right. down there. I saw him sitting down there, and he was right. comfortable with his shoes off. Yeah, man. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, we were exactly. there. Vino just didn't know. Seriously, we were there, man. Yeah, right, Seriously. right, right, right. Just had to settle. Well, listen, I appreciate everybody coming, uh, whether it was for two hours or whether it was for fifteen minutes. Yeah. I still well, to be fair, it. we stayed an hour and change. No, no, you didn't. Clean. An hour. We got there like what? Four forty-five. No, 4:45. we did. We did because we remember we helped you. No, yeah, no, you guys did help. But yeah, yeah. yeah, by, yeah by, by, by like yeah, we just. You had all that time up. It's around yes, an yes, hour. Yes, yes, yes. And you haven't done manual labor since you helped your homeboy move. Thank you. Yeah. Well, there you go. He's, he's <laughs> pulling boxes and cars. And let me tell you, that top step was dangerous. Yeah. Dang, yo, it did show caught me a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> I was busting my ass right in front of Mason. Yeah, I hit my foot. Mason already don't respect me. I didn't need that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. So it was, a, it was a great time. Everybody had fun. Uh, got a lot of gifts. So we uh, just said a big thank you out to everybody. And uh, yeah. And if you're ever planning to go anywhere, don't expect car to be your ride. Don't expect voice to be your ride <laughs> no, at all, no. whatsoever. Bro. What I he couldn't be a superhero. Bro. Not at all. No, no, no way. Oh, God. God. Yo, he'd be stuck not... in a booth. <laughs> God, 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 God would have been burned down. Right? You, uh, you can God never. Afghanistan. You can never be an Avenger, my dude. My ever, ever, yo. Like that's hero. that's not your thing. All right, good morning to the thread. Uh, shout out everybody on the thread. Um, call us up if you want to, 516-900-2278. Also, leave some comments on the thread. Who's on the thread this beautiful morning? Oh, I see, I see. Sweet mama. Right. Good morning. Good morning. Trini Mon. Trini Mon. Pamela. Carolyn Ross. Yes. yes. Rachel. Yes. Brazilia. I got a new one. Rachel, about- Rachel, who made it clear that yeah. she's responsible for that uh, Huey Newton chair you were sitting in yesterday. Yo. Listen, I don't know whose decision chair, it was to get that chair. So the, obviously, when you have a baby shower, they have the special chair for the the mother to be to already whoever's pregnant to sit on that chair. By the way, the the kids took over that chair. Like my son and everybody else's kids, they sat on that chair. So that didn't make any point. But it's the biggest chair known to man. I'm like, who's bringing this home or who's bringing this back to the rental spot? Like this is ridiculous. So that chair was kind of big. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> it was literally on the sidewalk, like. Anybody claiming me or what? It, it was it was used. Yo, but. then your man had the nerve to think someone was gonna steal it. I'm like, look how big the damn chair is. <laughs> like, oh. Shout out to Rich. Yeah, yeah, Rich, yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought somebody was like, was like, yo, any of y'all gonna watch the chair? I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody driving with a U-Haul truck you, at this rate. You gotta be a, a you gotta be like a here. fiend. You gotta be American Gladiator <laughs> slash crackhead to steal that shit. Seriously, so no, nah, we had a great time though. Voices being shot off for being late. I was no, but that's, that's that's your usual <laughs> thing. I mean, no, I mean you, to be you fair, really you're late, late here. Yeah, okay, but you like are really let's but it's the equivalent of you coming to the show and it being 15. It's like our sit down segment right, at that point. Like right, that was right. the equivalent of yesterday, yeah, and then you had my good name involved in this. Yeah, I had to hold you captive. Sorry about that, bro. Oh, this is good to talk to stories, man. This is the top five stories of the week. Jesus Christ. Number one. All right, so I don't know. Uh, a lot of things are going on with the Trump administration. One, apparently there's a, there's a, uh, a cage match scheduled, being scheduled for uh, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Now, does anybody want to see that? Absolutely. You want to see it? Absolutely not. You wouldn't want to see Trump fight already. It's, it's he can't fight. His hand skills. Yeah, it's geezers fight. They're both, they're both geezers. Yeah. So Joe Biden uh, this Joe week Biden. Uh, <laughs> had referred to Donald Trump if he would have known. I guess if they were in high school and 
Uh, he would have been abusing women. He would have taken them in the back behind the bleachers or beat them up. Because Joe don't play that. Joe, Joe don't play, play that. At all. Yeah, Joe's a bully. Joe is like everybody's grandfather, yeah, like I lovable love grandfather. Yeah. Everybody loves Joe Biden. Do I believe that? Well, I mean, I've been seen. You guys have seen Donald Trump in WWE. So have you seen his hand skills? I have seen none of those. Okay. So. Well, well I did see sure him. Seen. I did see him smack Vince McMahon. This is true. Again, this is professional wrestling. Not <laughs> real. I'm just I'm <laughs> not fighting here. Please. I'm just saying I've seen some evidence. But tonight, it's like the it's like the the NBA or NBC. It's like the Super Bowl tonight. I swear to God, everybody's so hyped up. So in 60 minutes tonight, the infamous Stormy Daniels will be giving her first oh. tell-all interview to Anderson Cooper. Who's excited for that? I only want to see Anderson Cooper. Why? You love Anderson. You know he doesn't love you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know that. We all know that. Okay, I'm just making sure. We all know that, yeah. And that's fine. That's uh, that's your preference. That's perfectly fine. Thank you very much. He he kept that under wraps for years. For years. I mean, I work for me. I I can't front. I couldn't tell. You saw something. Well, off camera, because on camera I couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah. Let's leave that alone. We'll 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 leave that alone. (laughs) But as far as the story, what do you, what is, is, are you guys expecting to hear anything that is going to surprise you? Is there something that would make you say, oh my God, if there, Legally, if there's anything that has to do with uh, campaign finances or anything of that nature, obviously, then it takes a little bit of a serious turn. If there's hush money coming from the campaign money or anything like that, anything like that, wake me up when that happens. Besides, this Besides is a rich it, man yeah. having having sex with right. having an affair. Yeah, this isn't and nothing. this isn't get, the, the the fact that they think that this is going to turn his base. No, not, not nothing whatsoever. They love him even more. Half of them are yeah. having, affairs. <laughs> having affairs on their own. And so. I want to know how she's able to speak if she received the hush money. Did she- I think so. I think mm-hmm. I guess I guess there were stipulations within the um, the agreement that didn't really protect him. Correct. And and plus, I think she also agreed to give the money back. Right. But how was that? Like, all right, this is hush money. I, if, if it's hush money, don't take the money back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, exactly. Sure. Her complaint was that what they said verbally versus what was written in the contract was a breach. So right. because of that. Yes. That's the reason why. But nothing, I don't, I don't expect anything. Like the her lawyer this week sent out a picture of a DVD. First of all, who watches DVDs anyway? But, but to put a DVD, sure a picture of a DVD <laughs> and saying, ooh, this I'm is, in the new era. <laughs> <laughs> like, but who, like, that, what's, what are we supposed to find out in this DVD that's. No, I want nothing. I don't want to see sex the sex tape. tape. No, thank you. Because no I know. If, if you remember the R. Kelly one, he was all in the camera. Yeah, so, I know so. Trump is not going to give the camera any rest, yo. I, I know this already. I want nothing to do with we it. We don't need that, really. Please. You think he's going to sweat out his hair? Oh, my God. I you refuse. Think, like, you think the hair's going to sweat out? If he takes it off, that'd like, be the I only thing. I wonder if he sweats during sex. Why? You, you want to know that? that? Oh. I mean, if there's a sex tape, really? I would pay three cents to see so it. Well, you'll well, be, be, well, be the one to do that investigating. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just tell us how that you goes. Know, you know I have questions. I have questions. This is true. I need answers. So that's one critical one. You you want to know if Donald Trump swe- sweats when he has sex. I want to know if he sweats his hair out, yeah. And how definitely. it looks out after. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know what? You know what really? <laughs> to find out if it's like a little... Yeah, like you kind of want to see the aftermath. I'm oh, telling come you, now. I want to see what he looks yeah. like. Yeah. 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 Enjoy, bro. I want to see the aftermath after that. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll send you a screenshot, okay? No, nah, nah, I mean... Just to the hair, I won't show you nothing Okay, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Well, I don't, like I said, I don't think there's anything in this interview that, that's supposed to come out tonight that's going to change anything. Mm-mm. Like nobody, no. nobody's opinion is going to be changed after this. Mm-mm. You're not gonna if you're a liberal, you're not gonna say, you know what? Damn it! Now there's now it's a witch hunt against this man. Yeah. And on the other side, oh, I can't defend this man any further. Cats like, come on. I can't front Melania Trump has been traveling alone for the past two uh, trips. What? She has no choice but to. Oh, okay. She's saving she's, face. No, no, uh, no divorce in the future. I mean, she's saving face I doubt. right now. She's not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. Until, Until after he's president. Until if, if yeah. 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 And then she's going to come up with superstar. her own tell-all. Of course, the day after yes. his presidency is over, the divorce is happening. Right. Like, right. She'll be a superstar. Exactly. Or impeachment. Hopefully. Oh, who cares? <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Let's get to number two. Number two. So yesterday, you had a huge event. You had the uh, March for Our Lives uh, march, uh, which incredible turnout. Uh, incredible speeches. Paul McCartney was there, oh, referring uh, to referring to the John death Lennon. of John Lennon. Um, I think Jennifer Hudson was there. Uh, a lot of words of encouragement. Martin um, Luther King um, Jr.'s mm. uh, granddaughter spoke. Which was yeah, really I think, beautiful. Listen, you have to be encouraged. We always call this generation lazy and not informed and just very like um, 
just don't have a grasp of reality, but you have to be encouraged by what you've seen. And the fact that whether you agree with them or not, the fact that they're off their asses, they're out doing things and engaging the community and politicians and and holding them accountable. That has to be encouraging whether you you stand on one aisle or the other. So um, and then you had an 11 year old come out. Uh, She made a speech referring to um, the black girls who have been victims of gun violence and how they don't get spoken about enough. Uh, Her name is Naomi Wadler. Uh, This was her speech yesterday. and represent the African-American girls whose stories don't make the front page of every national newspaper. Which is somewhat of a... I love the rock crowd, yes. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Black girls dead! We talk about it, please! don't lead on the evening news. I represent the African-American women who are victims of gun violence, who are simply statistics instead of vibrant, beautiful girls at full of potential. For far too long, these names, these black girls and women, have been just numbers. I'm here to say, never again for those girls, too. So you have it. That was an 11-year-old Naomi Wadler um, with her speech and so referring well to... So well-spoken at 11. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... Yeah. I don't think we were that well spoken. I don't care. I wasn't. I'd have been up there messing up. You heard booze. Get off the stage, Dick. A gunshot would have went off. Exactly. Your mother be your mother be down there with the bell like get mad about yo. What? I can't go to a family function for years. Maybe back to the little mom. No, but you got to. I think you have to be encouraged by this. Um, I think this was a lovely event. The fact that people are standing up and listen, we've had this debate. All the time, I've always felt like guns are, are especially assault rifles or any assault weapon, should be held just for the military or law enforcement. But this idea that uh, you know this is, if people feel like this is young people stepping out of their bounds because they have no right to speak on an issue like this is ridiculous. Especially when you talk about the victims and the survivors of these events, they have every right to march and share their voices. Yes, it's their life they're concerned. Absolutely, with. they have like, a right to speak on it. Absolutely, like they were part of something and witnessing kids on the ground and hearing gunshots and I have I have no right to ever tell them you know what you guys should shut you up you shouldn't stand up for yourself right and again yeah. thinking not only that they were thinking they were going to die, die. That's, I, like they thought that so that too. was their last day you, you you can't tell these people how to think after if, that I'm telling like I said man you get I understand they're kids now they won't always be kids so oh, they, once they turn 18 they'll be able to vote mm-hmm. and they're gonna make huge decisions in this country and if you ignore them People are going to feel the repercussions of this. But Better then, meet them halfway, man. I'm telling you. At least, I mean, you know what? It's kind of tough because the whole town hall that they had with CNN, where it was the pro-gun control crowd, and you had a few politicians who did show up. Who was that? Marco Rubio that yeah, came, right? It's tough to have a kind of debate there just because it's. it seems more of a... Um, like a rally rather than a debate because everybody in the crowd is so pro-gun control. Mm. It's hard to have a diverse conversation about a situation like this for me it's as simple as okay i get it you want to hunt and you want to shoot but there's no reason why you need an assault rifle right like it's the same as reason oh, i don't need to drive in the highway with a tank like i never <laughs> got that i never got the whole thing of like hunting like what do you get from killing i, I know certain i think certain animal animals they encourage hunting to control a certain population of animals but there are also those where you have elephants you have the the mm. white rhino yes. that's yeah, now in sti- yeah. like the, it's, it's gone now. Giraffes, yeah, the, right? Yeah. Who's we discussed earlier? Kind of rough here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Shout out to Toys R Us, yo. <laughs> you got giraffes <laughs> now. Who are at stake? I mean, it's crazy. I've never under like we have Whole Foods. Like, don't tell me it's all about you right. know gathering food. I get it. Like, yeah. Maybe back in the eighteen hundreds, yes, you had to. Ah, so it's purely an ego thing at this point. Oh, absolutely. It's pu- purely ego building. I under- and, like, but power, all that. To be fair, I understand the. Pos- Having a handgun, I get that. Like, if you want to feel yeah, like a handgun, yes, you want to protect assault rifles, kill right. like, you taking a picture, holding some lines at like, what is that? I about? don't get it. I, I don't get it. And the whole AR 15 in your home because you feel like the government is one day gonna overtake just your house, right? There's something about your house, yeah. just one, two, three, Maple Street. <laughs> yes, yeah. oh, by the way, that rifle's gonna help you if the government's coming to get right, you, right? <laughs> they won't stand a chance now, yes, right, exactly. And but then you had Killer Mike, so Killer Mike during this whole march, decided to, to talk on behalf of responsible gun, gun owners, which is fine. 
it's just a platform I have a problem with. And Killer Mike being that person. So Killer Mike is known to be that socially black, conscious, bank black, all that stuff. He's Bernie Sanders yeah. homie. Absolutely. All that. Mm-hmm. But then he decides to share his thoughts on the platform NRA TV. Here's why I have a problem. Hmm. And I like Killer Mike. NRA TV, yes. But this is where I have a problem. I have yet to hear one word from the NRA. About. If it's all fair and balanced with the NRA, where has been the response to Philando Castile? Right. You cannot tell Thank me you're Killer right. Mike mm. and you decide to go on that platform. And that didn't mention it. And not once. Nope. I forget the fact that you're telling yourself, I want to, listen, black African Americans should be able to carry arms. We agree to that. There should be, support those groups. Shit, we might need it more than anyone else. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. But then when you go on a platform like the NRA, mm. I'm sorry, that hasn't spoken out about African American mm-hmm. And legal it, gun owners that have right. been killed. Yes. Not only that, their leader, uh, Juan, I forget, uh, Wayne um, uh, Lapierre. Oh, Lapierre. Who has always used a little bit of racist rhetoric throughout his speeches and referring to certain demographics as thugs and protecting us from thugs and so on and so forth. And you decide to go on that platform to talk about how important it is for people to own guns? And you're killer Mike, though? Thank you. You know what's even crazier than that? There was an interview with members of the NRA with uh, Anderson Cooper. And he was asking, being that Trump is trying to change the laws with regards to the age limit in handguns. You don't find it strange that you don't claim betrayal, but if somebody like Obama would have done it. Of course. Oh, they, the words just changed completely. Of course. They're supporting this man. Of course. This of course. <laughs> Listen, let's, let's be real. We've seen the videos. We've seen the evidence. We've seen the experiments where you've had a white individual walking with an AR-15 on his back. Strapped in his back and walking in the neighborhood, right. and, and a black man with a bone box. Right, exactly. Yes. <laughs> well, I wanted to just use the the regular comparison. So, 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 yeah. Yeah. And that person being stopped, as opposed to no, they they leave that guy. Hey, you mind putting that away? As opposed to hey, put that yes, gun exactly. away. So I just have a problem with killing Mike going on that platform that hasn't protected nor has even commented on who was a a legal gun owner mm-hmm. who was responsible and has said nothing about Philando Castile. Yet you decide to go on that platform. Let's get to number three. Hypocrisy. Number three. So um, th- this week we had the Austin bo- the Austin bomber finally caught. Um, but like always, the rhetoric always changes. It seems a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Though, so he happened to be a uh, white male. How old was he? He was um, mid twenties. Yeah, he was mid twenties. Um, he was caught off a of video. Genius. I don't know if he knew that existed. With like a sick wig and, on. Right. And then decides wig. to blow himself up. It was like a Napoleon Dynamite wig. Right. Mm-hmm. But the crazy thing is, I'm just wondering if his name was Muhammad. Oh, what? If his name was Rahim. Mm-hmm. If his name was, I don't want to say anything ethnic, but. Yes. Oh, I you think can say Muhammad it. Muhammad Rahim wasn't ethnic. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I just haven't heard the word terrorist thrown around that a lot. Especially from major news corporations. And not just conservative ones. I'm talking about liberal ones as well. Yeah, nah. The um, Americans seem to like their terrorism homemade, man. You know yeah, what I mean? I tell you. I, I don't know what that shit's about. They like to have it homemade, but not call it terrorism. I just wonder if this was Muhammad, whatever, how quick the president would have came up and said. Denounced it and all that. Right. Like that and then this is what we need to do as far as controlling. And then also you have to factor in his victims. Apparently it was black families that were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently he was a conservative. Now these are all speculations through Twitter that I've seen, Mm -hmm. so I don't want to even confirm that Mm -hmm. because you never want to confirm anything through through Twitter, but yeah, you're right. I just find the rhetoric, it it just always seems to change when it's homegrown. Mm -hmm. I don't know what pale. um, (laughs) It's like the word is omitted just because you are born here. Right. He had a video. No, 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 no. Just born here. No, not just born not. here. No, yeah. no. Okay, fair enough. You, you also have to be white. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yes. We'll, we'll definitely put that correction I'm on I'm just here. saying that's just something that I've just seen a big difference with. If it's something, if it's a person of color, the rhetoric is always a little bit different. Mm-hmm. When you're talking about bombs and so on and so forth. They were quick. Remember that uh, the Boston Bombers? They were terrorists. Right out the bat, right out right the gate. Right out the bat, yeah. Right out the gate, it was there. That's terrorism. This is homegrown terrorism. Mm-hmm. This is. This guy was, well, he was just a troubled guy who was just sick in the head, and he's gone. You have a video confessing. I just wonder how, what wall would have prevented him. Did they release the video? They didn't release the video, did no, they? No, they said there was a 25 minute video. They're not going to release it yet. But it shows that he was confessing to the reason why he did all these crimes. I doubt that video comes out. I I'm doubt it. Gonna they're going to bury it. Why would he even mention it? 
Because he wants to be a martyr. No, why would he even mention that there is a video? Oh, the well, case. You see what I'm saying? All right, I see what you're saying. I mean... <sighs> I love this country, man. <laughs> I, I love how Johnny Manziel is out here practicing for teams. This guy was getting drunk and getting high or whatever. Yes. Yes. Snorting and coke off shit like with his ass. I feel like his girlfriend, too. Colin Ka- right, and then he had a case like yeah. this is a similar case. Yes. Colin Kaepernick takes one, takes a few knees, talking on an issue that we all see and we all know. And gives yes. a million dollars. Can't even get a tryout. To needed organization. <laughs> yes. Get a million dollars. Can't even, get a, can't even get a tryout. Can't even get a yo dog call me back. <laughs> you got the likes of OJ speaking out against him. I don't know about that Johnny Menzel guy, but that Colin Kaepernick is wrong. He's a piece yes. of shit. It's unbelievable. Black ass, yes. Let's get got to some, number four. Uh, no. Got some facts real quick before you even know that he was 23 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He was a troubled. He was just a troubled youth. Yeah. And God bless, hopefully, you know, he'll have to deal with the Lord and figure that shit out. Kathleen, yeah. I don't necessarily agree. It says, remember, it depends on the state. West Coast has mentally ill. East Coast has terrorists. I, I think that even He's, if this happened on the East Coast, it still would have been nah, mentally uh, ill. What the yeah. Tupac was that? What yeah, is no. she talking about? The West. Yeah, Kathleen, I don't know. I don't know if I if I agree with so that. Dylan, so she's saying there's a difference between West Coast and, and East, East Coast. East Coast. So she's saying West Coast has well, mentally ill. First of all, now a terrorist on the West But to be fair, I mean most of the there's some West Coast terrorists. Oh, y'all got no love for the West Coast? No. To be fair, probably what she's saying is most of the terrorism that's been happening has been in the East Coast. You haven't seen many. I haven't seen it a lot of people have been traveling overseas and it's been matter. done in the East Coast. I no, I totally agree. But I think that. Ah, I so think let's show our West Coast terrorists some love too. Okay? <laughs> it's not even across the board. But I get I, 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 I think we I see you. I think we know where we know where we at. That one show no love. Wow. Let's get to number four. Number mm-hmm. four. So Vivica Fox, what a segue. Oh god. <laughs> so Vivica Fox. Speaking of terrorism. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so she's writing a book, and in her book, she is referring to the past relationship with rap- rapper Fifty Cent. Now, I, listen. She's not How long ago go, was this relationship? It doesn't matter. Go. If she's writing a book, and if it's her her autobiography, she's entitled to write about her. You're life. right. She's not going to let it go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you can. Does, she doesn't have to let it go. But it's a part of her life. Yeah. Yeah. Finish. Finish the introduction. No. That's, so that's basically what she's 53 years old. Uh-huh. Uh, she refers in the book about how their relationship pretty much was PG 13. Uh, she says most of the time I would be the one initiating sex because I really enjoyed making love with him. PG-13, huh? Yeah. So that's looking as PG-13. Oh, come on, man. I'm Jeez. just saying. Those are facts. She did bring all that out. Yeah, she yes, did. Yes. Plenty of times. Um, I just don't... Listen. PG-13. You bring up a good point. Yes, it is It is supposed to be an autobiography, but I don't know how that is important in <laughs> this... Like, did that give her a big, big break in... I, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if you're writing an autobiography... <laughs> I, I'm, trying, I'm trying not to have a visual. If you're writing an autobiography... Yes, but Trump's you wig is... Can write, <laughs> you, can, you can write whatever you please that happened in your life. No, that's I don't totally care if agreeable. it happened 72 years ago. It happened in your no, life. No, you totally agree. I mean, evidently, in this book she, felt, she felt like that part that people may want to read it. That's probably why she included it. And two, maybe it really changed her life. So around the really? time when she was dating him, right. and I forget who, but I guess people in general were like, yo, you look kind of crazy. You're using this young guy right. you know, to boost yourself up, right? So she has this whole passionate speech about being somebody before him and right. yada, yada, and she doesn't need to use him right. for a celebrity or anything of this nature. Right. Remember the whole put that wear back there and all right. that bullshit, right? right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Enough's enough already. Right. Like, if you and, you and 50 beat for years, y'all cool now, or beef on, off and on again, enough with this. You're clearly using him. Right. You know what I'm saying? For whatever your goal is. You know what you're doing. Like, like you're clearly... To like, be fair, you're trying to sell books as well, and the publisher's probably like, you have to put some of that information in there to sell the book. That's what I'm saying. It's going to draw people to buy the book. I don't know. Now, now do, I, do I think that it's, gonna it's a little out. much? Yes, because she's talked about it so much, yes. but... Like, we get it. You dated right. 50 Cent. Right, and that's when you tell the publisher, listen, I've already talked about it in, 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 in different Al outlets. Al Bundy doesn't talk about scoring touchdowns as much as a woman <laughs> talk about dating 50 Cent. Like, enough already. Did you, we get did you see his comeback, though? Yeah, he went yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, of course. He was just basically like, who still worries about... Something 12 years 12 ago. 12 years ago. Yeah. And he's right. I mean, nobody worries about that, especially if it's a past relationship. 12 years ago, it didn't happen. But you, you have to understand the, the business aspect of this, and she's trying to sell books. So Maya B says it best. That was the time of her life. She's never going to let it go. Sweet Mama says, nothing PG about the wild thing. 50 is right. If this were the <laughs> other way around, that's harassment. No, that is true. If this was, let's say, any male actor... Referring giving to, details, giving intimate details. details about having sex with a singer or whatever. Yes. 
<laughs> leave her alone, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, leave, leave her shit, alone. It's over. She was wild in bed. Like, Big Keith yeah. says, right. says she's taking tips from Superhead. Gotta be. Of course. Gotta be. But the difference but with Superhead is Superhead's only famous for that. Yes, right. You are an accredit, accredited actress. Act like it. And she also talks about she her experience with uh, Kill Bill Two. I mean, Kill Bill One, and how she, uh, Quentin Tarantino had a temper, and there was a certain incident that had occurred. Yeah. You mean so, her career? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Went cool. downhill. Yeah. <laughs> well, she, and she's she's had a solid career. I'd give her had, that. Had definitely had. Well, yeah, had. I mean, but <laughs> no, I feel like isn't she doing something now? B movies. Jesus, a day. DVD movies. A day. A day <laughs> says I can only imagine what else she does if she's out here scraping dingleberries. Wow. This is true. And number five. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you for that, Adair. So um, I, I encourage everybody to check out this trailer. Uh, we want to pull it up. I don't think we're allowed to, being that it's a uh, commercial trailer. But uh, so there's this movie coming about about the life of uh, Mr. Rogers. I'm so here for it. I never watched Mr. Rog Rogers just because the puppets used to scare me. What? Um, yeah, I didn't. Would you be my neighbor? Not even the beginning no. or the end? No. Would you be? I, didn't, I, don't, even know the, I don't even know the present. Like, for me, Mr. Rogers was, was just too nice of a guy. Like, you are. That's pedophilia nice. Like, you are too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not. 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 I'm saying Don't do that. Please. I'm just Please. saying he was just way too. Would uh, you be my neighbor? Nah. nah. So <laughs> obviously, you, you remember the theme song, right? Of course. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? What is your favorite, uh, and there's a poll question for the thread, Who? what is your favorite childhood theme song? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I've got a few. Okay, okay what is okay, that? Okay, great. Yes. Uh, Animaniacs. Animaniacs. And, Animaniacs. and yeah. Flintstones. I don't remember. What, what I remember. Oh yes, I do. Yes. We, uh, yeah, I like don't that. remember the Flintstones. Yeah, I remember the Flintstones. Okay. Yeah, that was dope. I like the Jetsons. Yeah, I'm about to Jetsons. 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 You Jetsons. know, yeah. you know, has to be my favorite one ever. This is a song that does. No, it's it's oh, Lamb Chop. You go on and oh, all my friends. Lamb Chop was actually Lamb crazy. That was my yeah, favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Um, I never really watched the show, but um. What was the damn? I can't even think of the Tiny Tunes. Oh yeah, that thing was crazy. Yes, that thing was crazy. I can't find even on people that gonna be popular about this decision. Barney. Barney yeah. wasn't your child. You was grown before Barney came out. No, 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 no. Barney was my around. little cousin was born around, and, and I'm like eight years older than her, and so I'm probably around ten, eleven. My first grade. But she right. dominated the TV, and that's the only reason I know that theme yes. song from front to back. But right. yes, that How old is, is your sister? My sister is seven years younger than me, so she is. Also, it's about the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's around the same. Yeah. No, Barney was yeah. Everybody knew knew about Barney. Sesame Street. Yeah, uh, certain songs. That's just a classic. Wait, I'm talking the about actual, the theme. Actual, the theme. Yeah, I'm talking about the theme. Of Sesame Street, theme, of course. Theme, yeah, yeah. The little, the but they little, like the thing I with them is, Mr. Mr. Rogers was the same theme for all those years. Yes. You know, Sesame Street. Oh. We put a little hippity hop to it and shit. So. Reading Rainbow. Oh, I like now, Reading Rainbow. There you go. Yes. Yes. I think that's top. Yes. You got that. Yes. You were not late yesterday. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yo, Azay says DuckTales. Yes. DuckTales. Yes. Sweet Mama says Muppet Babies, which yes. was the greatest. Yeah. I love Muppet Goof Babies. Troop. You know what I like? Zoobly Zoo. Zoobly Zoo was actually Zoobly pretty Zoo. good. I, I don't remember that. I don't remember Zoobly Zoo. Zoobly Zoo. I remember the theme. Zoobly I know yeah. what his name was on it. Uh... Fresh Prince of Nah, nah, I don't think there's anything that beats re Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow is top five dead or alive. Yes. Get out of here. Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow came on what, Channel 13? Yes. Yeah, PBS. Yeah. Yeah. Tailspin. Tailspin. That was crazy. Oof, it was Magic Making. Yeah, yeah. I know Sean Trini Mount. Does she not even know Oh, about? yeah. It was Magic Making, B. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> Chitty Mountain Wilder right now. Chitty Mountain Wilder in the tailspin theme. Um, My B says Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah. Gem. Gem. Yeah, I, uh, I don't remember Gem. I remember Gem. I remember Gem. Yeah, that's right. I'll be damned. All right. All right. Let's take a quick break. Uh, we're already like 11.38 into the zoo. Yes. Right. So we'll take a quick break. When we come back, uh, we have some things to talk about, obviously, with this uh, Stephen Clark situation. So we'll be right back Sunday morning breakfast. Unexpected reactions to smart financial decisions brought to you by FeedThePig.org. Well, I finally did it. I opened a 401k. So you're giving up. Just like that. Giving up on what? I'm getting an inheritance from a distant relative. Don't you think if there were a billionaire in the family, we'd know about it by now? Listen to me. We are one phone call away from riding horses on our own private polo grounds. One call from christening yachts, having a butler, using summer as a verb. How do you figure? Look, everyone's got a rich uncle somewhere. It's statistics. So the best thing you can do is just prepare for the inevitable. Right. Which is why I thought maybe it would be smart to take control of my finances. You know, start using a budget, get out of debt, set some retirement goals. Budgets? Debt? You watch your mouth. 
Retirement shouldn't be a goal for us. It should be a way of life. When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. It's 6.42 p.m. Time for Steve Plato and his son Dylan to do the dishes. They talk about everything from the yuckiness of girls to the awesomeness of his soccer team. Sometimes they don't talk at all. Then, hey! the dreaded <laughs> splash fight. It's dad o'clock, and it's the best time of the day. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Today, my new dad threw a barbecue. Today, my new son and I threw a barbecue. There were burgers and chicken. I burnt everything. The burgers, the chicken, the salad. Ah, they were delicious. They were awful. And then, and then we had watermelon. <coughs> I'm allergic to watermelon. And then we played catch. I broke Mr. Lewis's window. Mrs. Wakeham's window. Mrs. Wakeham's windshield. And then, somehow, my hand. My hand! <laughs> and then my dad even let me drive his car. The hospital's on the right! It was a rough day. It was a great day. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. <laughs> All right, Sunday morning breakfast. Call us up five one six nine zero zero two two seven eight. As we end our laughter and talk about, talk about a serious story here. Okay. <laughs> um. So obviously, a lot of a lot of talk has been um about uh the gentleman Stephen Clark who um was shot and killed um by police out in Sacramento. Um. Now here's the uh, basically the account of what happened. Police say. Uh, I, I guess there was a chase between the two. I'm not necessarily sure. They're they're really vague with what happened with what happened the story says um the shooting was captured by two off uh, two officers body cameras and a police helicopter on sunday uh, officers fired 20 times at clark hitting him multiple times uh the two officers have been since been put on paid administrative leave amid paid. a use paid yes paid. amid of use of force investigation which is proper procedure that's usually what happens um they claimed that they believed they saw something in his hand and they believed that it was a gun. Uh, come to find out, after the shooting had occurred, uh, it was discovered that it was a cell phone. Now, that was the same situation, well, similar situation to um, Amadou Diallo, that we all remember, Years where ago, yeah. it wasn't a cell phone, it was a, it was a wallet. How could you forget that? Right, or another forget <laughs> that. Um, they say the body camera video show a brief encounter between police and Clark um, lasting less than a minute from the moment one of the officers yelled, hey, show me your hands. Stop, stop. Uh, police said the officer entered the front yard and saw the suspect along the side of the home. Uh, I think he was uh, I think he might have been I thought he was stealing something or he might have been a thief or something like that. I think, I think he was breaking into cars. Right. That's what they said, that he was breaking into cars, and then he started running, and I think he ran to his grandmother's house, maybe? Right. Police said the man <laughs> turned, advanced towards the officers while holding an object. Uh, they yelled, show me your hands. When the, one of the officers yelled, gun, gun, gun. Without, it was, if you see the footage, it's pitch black. There's no way you can tell it. it's a gun. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're a police officer, I don't know if you have time to make that distinction. Here's my thing. If you see the video, it's pretty... 20 shots back to back to back it wasn't two with the leg or and like i said you know, who knows if these guys are marksmen but 20 shots seem a bit excessive a tad a tad yeah. like I mean, you, a bit much. you don't shot you don't fire a warning shot um like at the ankle like hey stop Boop. you know what i'm saying like listen, i think we have cops on our on our thread uh maybe they can <laughs> let us know if the what is the proper procedure Please. when it comes to if you believe someone has an object, because I think this is the biggest debate. When you're a police officer and you suspect somebody of having an object, okay, what is the proper protocol in terms of making sure that you still get home safe and not letting off 20 shots? Giving adequate warning right. to the person to you know, right. drop whatever's in their hand. Exactly. Have you. Right. So that is the, that's the rub. Um, he's being, he, he was a loving father. Uh, his brother says he was a father of two. Um, 
His brother spoke. Uh, he says his brother is the latest victim, uh, similar to Eric Garner, Walter Scott, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice. He says, I know there could have been another way. He didn't have to die. Officers fired 20 shots. I just want to know what the proper protocol, if, if you're a cop and you suspect someone to have a gun, I would ask you guys, what do you guys think is the right way of going about it? Big Keith said you pull your gun, they intend to use it. No, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I get, he's yeah. referring to the cops, I guess. No, yeah. right, right. Well, I mean, not necessarily. You pull If you pull it as a warning, as a mean, yo, I have my gun on you, you know, mm -hmm. relax or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be, then you would hope after the relaxing takes place that you put the gun back, you know what I'm saying, do what you got to do. Right. I don't know, the story This story is too too funny because when I first heard it, I had heard dude was just in his yard planting uh, vegetables here and right, the cops came, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So. Now I'm hearing about... <laughs> He's planning that story. Yeah, exactly. Right, now right, I'm right. hearing about other shit and, you know, yes. why he was being chased in the first That's place. That's why I think it's always... We have to get the whole story. Mm -hmm. We have to be fair with this. I mean, I, I think that was a bit excessive, but, you know, you're always going to get two sides. You're going to get the police officer's account of what happened, and you're also going to get the family's point of view of the gentleman, of the suspect. Like, they're saying he was an entrepreneur... Uh, he said they say he was like Ric Flair. He was an entrepreneur. He would make money selling shoes. What's the Ric Flair comparison about? How does that I work? Guess the energy. I guess his energy. Probably energy. Woo! How yeah. random is that? Oh well. It says it's it's oh, 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 let me stop. It. If I die, don't ever refer to me as Hulk Hogan. Okay, <laughs> right. like what the hell is that? Uh, the story says the shooting happened on Sunday after 9 p.m. when off when Sacramento officers responded to a report that a man had broken car windows and was hiding in a mm. backyard. They pursued See, a man what I'm saying. who hopped a fence into the grant into the grandmother's property. Like if you're an entrepreneur and what the family's saying, I don't see why Why'd breaking car one? windows yeah. would be you know what I mean? Like the story to me just doesn't add up, but right. I don't feel like if he was rob breaking into cars, that doesn't justify being shot to death. Like right. I just want I like I just want to know, was this somebody who was who saw him and immediately said, Oh, I think he's and they just pointed at him, and then he ended up just being an innocent bystander who happened to get shot. Or what was the? Or was he actually doing something wrong? But even if he was doing something, something wrong, he doesn't does does deserve twenty shots. That, yeah, no, right. not at all. Not does that not justify no, Not at all. But now, if his dog, like you're saying, and which, they think which whatever, and they think whatever in his hand is a gun, mm -hmm. twenty shots is excessive. But as far as the gun being pulled out and there being some fireworks, right? Who knows? Here? But my thing is, what is so? What is the? I'm not. I'm not saying what they did was right. I'm just saying what is the what are they trained to do? If you suspect somebody of having an object on your hand and you don't know what it is, what is the proper procedure as far as approaching a suspect? I mean, it's hard to even say to be honest with you. We have because they have a lot of things going from the fact that it was dark, the fact that they had an assumption. Right. Only thing that they really would be held accountable for is the fact that they laid off the twenty shots. Right. To be honest with you, it's hard to say. You I can't. can tell you right now the way this is being described, he, the cops are beating this case. Of course, oh, they are. I'll tell you, I'll tell you oh, right now. Of course they are. Shot. Even if, even yeah, if the way it was described absolutely. was horrible, ninety nine percent of the time they're beating this case. So, y'all just get ready to riot out there in Cali. Like right. it is what it is. But the thing is, you're we in a already situation, done. Though, like they shut down the Sacramento Kings game. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, they literally protested. That stadium but was looking empty. Say, now, now, but I can't front. I'd be in a situation where I'm a little scared because if I'm in, a, if I'm in a dark area and I'm by myself and there's a whole bunch of cops coming my way, anything could happen. They could say anything. You see what I'm saying? So you don't know what the truth is. What can you do? So here's what here's what one story says. Because a lot of people are asking, they're confused about what happened or what caused the interaction between himself and the cops. They're saying Clark was never running from the police. He was already running through the backyards of hopping fences in the neighborhood, headed home. The police were not chasing him. Even as the helicopter guides the two police officers to his location, he is still at his own home, which he was standing on the side of it, and has no way of knowing the police are, are after him. That's what I'm saying. If the police get a call saying, we believe this person is smashing windows and trying to break into cars. And you just happen to be and black and running in your neighborhood. Right. Exactly. So, so you can't you jog. Mm, my you question, like, no, you're right. Yeah. No, you're right. My question is, I heard the audio and I felt like I heard the cops said he had a gun. 
But right. I never heard him say anything. Like, I don't know how far he was right. from the officers to say, like, it's a cell phone or whatever. Because if somebody's screaming, she got a gun, I'm like, no, I don't. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, I didn't hear <laughs> that. Uh-uh. Because I already know what's God forbid. Salute me back. No. <laughs> right, right. I'm just trying to slay. Right. I don't right. want any problems. Right. God forbid I don't know what's coming next. So I think that if I ever heard a cop say that, I would automatically be like, no. Like, you know what I mean? Like. I'm not saying that's going to stop the situation, but somebody I yelling, what, I got a gun, I'm going to yell back. And I think what happens is, is I think what the the family is going to frame this as is he was minding his business. He was trying to get home mm-hmm. more, and he was actually home, and then he gets surprised by cops. I guess his cell phone is in his hand, and he's, hmm. I guess through that time, uh, he's trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, Denise, Denise Cooper says part of the police audio was turned off. <laughs> The hell you so say, Denise? <laughs> so what? Yeah. <laughs> so okay. convenient, isn't it? It's always amazing how these body cameras and the audio always get cut off. So Thomas from Virginia says, if a person was trying to hide, you hide in the house, not the backyard. I, don't I mean, think... he may not have necessarily been trying to hide, exactly. though. He probably didn't he may know not the attention kn- that was yeah. on him. He may not have even known what was going on. Because if the, co- if the cops get a call, okay, and they're like, okay, we got to call somebody's breaking into cars. So they start patrolling the neighborhood, seeing what's going on. Unfortunately, they see somebody running. Now, I, I'm trying to be fair here. If a cop sees somebody running, you're probably going to think in your mind, well, this is a perp trying to get away, or maybe this Especially is Especially if you have a call around the exactly, area. Exactly. And Unfortunately. It's, and and it's he's dark. probably trying to get ready for summer jogging around the block. Right. And he's, who knows? And the, most athletes, they get up either... In the middle of the night. Of course, absolutely, yeah. And they do it run because there's no traffic, there's nothing. I tell people all the time, yo. They're we, definitely we, getting off, though. We make this black shit look cool, but it's not, not easy. Not easy. Like, they're just normal things you can't do just for being black. Running Especially if you live in a black in neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Well, shit, if you live in a, in a mixed neighborhood, neighborhood yeah. you running around at night, somebody look at the, what, what, what's, what's going on there? Yeah. Right. It's just, it's crazy. It's too much. And the camera, in the, in the footage, you actually hear them say, well, did he have a gun in his hand or did he have something in his hand? And he says, yeah, I think he had a gun. I think. That's what you can't think. You got to know. <laughs> I think. Especially 20 times you let off shots. I mean. And do you imagine? And then you hear, because I've heard the audio. In the audio, they're like, we can't help you if you if you don't tell us, if, if you don't show us the gun or something. We can't help you. We can't help you. And it's like a lady officer saying, like, you need to show us your gun or whatever. And then, like, then you... Re- you hear them realize that he's not responding and they clearly see there's not a gun and they like get quiet and they say like call the medics or something but like you did all of this Mm -hmm. and how do you feel when you walk up to that person and realize it's a cell phone like how you feel like how do you call how do you call that in like I just made a mistake and this person is dead you know he's watch on TV here's the worst part (laughs) He he was at his own home right he was at his grand he was at his grandparents' house where he was staying. He was at his own here's another thing about the media and how crazy this is. You don't know what story to trust just because everybody has their own slant. So Absolutely. you don't even know <clears throat> what part like certain stories will omit yeah. certain facts. Another outlet will mm-hmm. omit certain mm-hmm. like and you gotta kinda have to like piece things together because one publication uh, like, for instance, let's use New York City. The New York, the New York Post is a conservative outlet. The Daily News is the more liberal outlet. Daily News won't put all the information, or they'll frame information in a certain way, just as the New York Post will frame it the other way. <laughs> New York Post the is the Enquirer. Room. Right. So it's it's you don't know exactly how. One thing I'll say is, you want to talk that West Coast East Coast stuff. West Coast they don't <laughs> they don't protest. They rally. <laughs> Only in Cali, we rally. Right, not rally. rally. I mean, right, right, yes. yeah, it gets serious out there. I've, if you saw the story, they shut down a whole NBA game. Mm-hmm. I think there were only like ten people in the arena. Well, you got to figure that's where Black Panther started. Like, right. there's a whole history of rioting. Well, there's always been an issue. Even before the L.A. shit, the watch shit. Wasn't this back the, in the same 70s. Sacramento Police Department where they had found that there were uh, some, there was, like, uh, racist texts? No, that was uh, San Francisco. San Francisco, thank you. All right, right, right. Right. That's the whole Colin Kaepernick thing, by the way. Well, <laughs> the start of that. But can't, anyway, can't yes. get a try. Unbelievable. Right. Um, I don't know if they, uh, Danielle mm-hmm. asks, um, if they're if they fired twenty shots in his back, I don't know if it was. They didn't display where the bullets actually. That's what I'm saying. We're hit. still waiting on more information, and you know, people are saying he was at the wrong place at the wrong time in his own backyard. Sweet mama, I don't I don't agree with with your statement 
wholeheartedly. It says, she says they don't feel they're going home to their families. I don't feel like every cop doesn't feel. I don't feel. I, I, I almost believe that some of them really are remorseful if something like this happens. I don't feel like once you be to me once you become a cop, you just have no feelings about somebody being. Dead. No, I, I do. I do. I totally disagree. I don't think yeah. cops just go out there and. I don't think they just the don't feel at all. In of them, general, right. yes, but these two cops. No, they were letting say. it off like. Yeah. I mean, look at the thing at Sean Bell. I mean. When you're, yeah. Yeah, when you're letting it off like that, and then what doesn't help their case as far as how they feel is that they won't get punished for it. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't care how you feel about the incident if you're not necessarily, you know, facing responsibility for it. Right. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these cops don't even want that confrontation. Like, you don't... But to be, they're, 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 they're cowboys out there that want to... I'm, I'm the people you don't mess with. I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's pretty safe, it's safe to say, and I think even cops would even agree with that. There are certain officers who are out there. It's the same with those old people who need the gun to feel like they're a man. Or that, that coach you, know, you, said? You, you put a you put a gun in their hand, and all of a sudden they they're this. Yeah, they're, they're Chuck Norris. Yes. Right. Right. They're mighty right. mouth. Yeah, they're mighty mouth. Right. The, 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 the Dirty Harry. Yeah. The quote that uh, priest said is, uh, "Guess what? You gonna you gonna get it today. You gonna feel it today." Right. <laughs> and Yo, not, let me read, let me read Keith's comment. Yeah. Um, Big Keith, who's who's a white guy, right. he says, "Look, man, I fit the description of someone who was held up." Who held up, rather, excuse me, a mm -hmm. bar two blocks from my house. Mm -hmm. Cops was looking to shoot my ass, plain and simple. You don't listen to the cops. They have more reason to shoot. My son was four watching the whole thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. But he does say, if I was black, I probably would have got hit. Mm -hmm. Patrick says cops are protected by their union also. Yeah, very of much. Course. It's, yeah, absolutely. It's hard. If you, you could see a cop, a cop could well kick the door down right. and shoot all of us. <laughs> right. Right? They could always frame us way. Yeah. To accuse them, to um, convict them, rather, right. of murder. It just is what it is. Yeah. It's how it goes here. Because they could easily say, well, I saw some... And, and it may have been a natural yeah. reaction by... Let's say... So, let, all right, let's use that example. A cop mm -hmm. bus is in here. Boris wants Boris, nothing to do with this guy. <laughs> whoever. I might... Okay, so I'll use myself. Right. I might lean over uh -huh. to duck. That can be framed as, oh, he was charging. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thus... And you have machine guns on the right. floor that you're trying to pick up. I didn't know if he had a mm -hmm. weapon under the table. L little had... did they know it was lifesavers that fell. <laughs> right. Like... And we heard reports or we had complaints that this might have been a drug house or something like that. That's right. Just always the way you Listen to their rhetoric every Sunday. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> exactly. They're, they're cop hating guys. We knew they, they, they were going to attack us. So that's Shreem what we had to asked if the voice remembers the situation with the CIA. I don't even want nothing to do with it. Um, <laughs> please, don't, yeah. don't even waste our time. Yeah. Okay? It's, uh, it's a crazy says, story. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> a day says it's not that they go out there wanting to kill people. It's that the institution doesn't put enough effort into our lives and how badly we want to get home as well. Of course. I mean, listen. <laughs> CIA, huh? <laughs> You guys were involved with this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to know. Superhero. You, you want Trinity Mountain Yo, to ride a plane? Trinity Mountain was coming from the boat from Trinidad, and voices there waiting. Come on, this way. They go through the underground T-Mobile tunnel. I, I don't even want to hear it. Please. Please. We got stories, man. Yeah, we got I'm stories. Sure. Listen, I, I, as time goes on, we'll find out more about the story. Um, but already, action has been taken as far as the community is concerned. Um, I just don't want his name to be dragged and. You know what they're going to do. They're going to try to find some information. Yeah, you know, what he did in second grade. Right, exactly. Sure. Yeah. He Listen. had previous uh, troubles with the law from what I read before. Of, of course. Right. Of, so of so course. Use that that against him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the fact... I hate when people bring stuff like that yeah. up. Like, yeah. I really do. Like, Eric Garner, he sell Lucy's. If you don't get out of here with that... Yeah. No, right. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, stop. Like, stop trying to, to soil these people's names. Who's like, that one person that's like, oh, he sells cigarettes? Oh, okay, cool. He deserved to die. Because like, right. it's like a justification of it, right? But I feel like... And here's the argument I always have. It's not happening to the other side of the aisle. Like, you're not saying, if, if, this, is, if this was, if these were young white teens, if this was happening to them, there'd be a much bigger uproar. But it will, though. For example. Eventually it will. Mm -hmm. you, give, well, you give people too much power. It's like anything in this country. Anything in this country that affects blacks first eventually affects everyone I, else. I, I disagree. Bullshit. Because it's drugs. Order, because it, drugs, but diseases, here's the everything else. It's going to happen. I, I feel you. like because those... Those white teens are the sons of those cops in those forces. It doesn't matter. You put enough of a battery in anyone's back, you make them feel untouchable. Eventually, they're going to do some shit that gets them touched. It's, it's just, just human nature. It's just mm -hmm. amazing how now the opioid problem oh, yeah. is now a that problem. That was a word. It took me a second to, well, to, to, to um, <laughs> what you call it, but that was a word just now, all right? All right, <laughs> beloved? Yeah. But it's oh. amazing how the opioid is now, is now a problem, where the president has to talk about it, but when... Blacks from Vietnam yes, were coming home. It's their 80s crack. Right. right. 
But again, like I said, it'll catch up. And remember when 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 New York was burning and the Bronx was burning oh, in the yeah. 80s, oh, yeah. it was put them in jail or Let's it was the super up. what was it the super the super thug or the right. super predator. whatever the predator, predator. Yeah. Yeah. right? Hillary. Yeah. Right. Put them in jail for life and or for little things. Now all of a sudden we need help. It's an opioid crisis. Yeah. What happened to What happened to the we 80s have to when we were dying? For the victims, yeah. and we have to go reach out to these communities and right. You know, make sure. By the way, opioid and this is starts from prescription drugs. It doesn't start as your doctor yeah. gives it yeah. to you. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Start messing with the heroin. Yeah. And, right. Right. Yeah. and then yeah, next yeah, you go. Know, and these are the big pharmaceutical companies that donate millions and millions to these politicians. That you think that's going away? Absolutely not. You oh, remember no. back in the day, people were like they were finding like people dead on the street with like needles in their arms mm -hmm. and it was like they have a problem they need to go to jail like no these people need help nope. help now all of a sudden it's 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 it's, it's i want to have like a whole rehab and it, thousands of rehabs in every state no 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 mm -hmm. do what you did to us in the 80s the unfortunate aspect of the story and i'll say this and we're going to break we all know the outcome though we know what's going to happen we know these cops aren't going to be held liable for their actions I'll be quite surprised if they are. No, and and as far as accountability, you want to see, I don't even think these guys are going to get fired. No. No. That's duty for what they are now. Well, for he's getting a promotion. In his... <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Like, Captain detective. Stripes, yes. It's you so know. funny because you and I were having a conversation the other day about, you were saying like cops get indicted but they don't get charged like i'm not i won't be surprised if they got indicted no, they, don't get convicted, I mean. they don't get convicted, convicted right mm -hmm. i won't get i i won't if they're convicted it's a whole other story for me before we go to break though you know what what cop might get invicted a black cop that killed that white australian girl back yeah that's well, what that i sent you the other day yes, yeah yes. his ass yeah. i don't know yo his ass might see because they charged him not just with murder because mm -hmm. when they just charge you right. with murder they you're do. beating that right. if you're a cop yeah. you're beating that yeah. right, right. They so that's how Zimmerman won. They right. charged him with murder and manslaughter. And manslaughter. Manslaughter charge? Now, that's a little harder to And build. mind you, he's a, he's a, a, a Muslim he's man. He's an African. Yeah. Yeah. His first name is Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's African. Right. Noir, yeah. Uh, all right, here's the police account of what happened. I think this is a, I found a story that has a little bit more detail to it. So it says, uh, 9 p.m. Sunday, when uh, Sacramento officers responded to a report that a man had broken windows and was hiding in a backyard. The man was described as six foot one, thin, wearing a black hoodie and pants. That's pretty much us in here. Um, <laughs> um, officers arrived and were aided by a team in a Sacramento Sheriff's Department helicopter. Police said the helicopter personnel observed that the suspect had picked up a toolbar and broken a window to a residence. The helicopter team observed the man running and looking to another car. The helicopter then guided officers to the man's location in the backyard of a home. Uh, the camera from the helicopter showed a man running through a backyard and hopping a fence into another yard. The aerial footage captured the moment when two officers began heading towards him. Officers arrived at the, arrived at the front of the yard and gave the man commands to stop and show his hands. Uh, the man immediately fled to the backyard, and they pursued him. At that point, the man turned and advanced towards the officers while holding an object. And the officers believed the suspect was pointing a firearm at them. Fearing for their safety, the officers fired their uh, duty weapons, striking the subject uh, multiple times. These guys are getting off, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. These Absolutely. guys are getting off. Absolutely. Sunday morning breakfast. We'll be right back. Adopt U.S. Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you, A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie. This is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before you get married. C, take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve. It's now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D, help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. I wasn't prepared to be a caregiver to mom. But a little over a year ago, we realized she couldn't take care of herself without our help. And, well... How could I not be there for her? I had no idea how hard it would be and just what I would need to know. Things I never thought of, like how to improve her mood and even for me, ways to stay positive. Luckily, I found the Caregiving Resource Center from AARP. It had articles about the basics that got me started. 
but also information about the hurdles I was facing in this new role. I could even connect with experts and hear from others who had been in my place. I know this road we're on isn't an easy one, but I'm really happy to have the extra help for her and for me. Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Articles, tips, and tools to help you both care for your loved one and care for yourself. This message is brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. It only takes a minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. And you can do it at doihaveprediabetes.org. But you're probably not going to. Nope. I'm sure you've got a perfectly good excuse. Kids, work, <laughs> I get it. You're busy. So what better time than now? Let's begin. Raise one finger if you're a man. Ladies, none yet. Oh, count in your head if you're driving. Now, three more fingers for everyone over 60, two over 50, one over 40, one more if you're not physically active, another finger if anyone in your family has type 2 diabetes, another if you've got high blood pressure. If you're overweight, raise another finger, two if you're very overweight, and three if you're really overweight. You've just taken the world's first audio prediabetes test. And if you're holding up five or more fingers, visit doihaveprediabetes.org or talk to your doctor. There's no excuse because prediabetes can be reversed. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its prediabetes awareness partners. All right, Sunday morning breakfast. Call us at 516-900-227. Hey, before we move on, a couple other things. So, um... The police officer says that they there were uh, damages to vehicles around the neighborhood. Uh, they believe was caused by Clark, um, and he did. I believe he did have a record. Um, I don't know if that you know excuses that, but his brother also said he was arrested before, but he's been different lately. Uh, he really changed his life. He was a people person who everybody wanted to be around. Uh, we came from underprivileged, broken home, but he didn't care about nothing else but his kids. So, like I said, we'll find out more about this. I don't want to immediately just say that, because you know how it is. You know how you know how things get framed. Mm -hmm. and you know how things get uh, presented. So, um, it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to see if there's one more thing. Even I if it was damaged cars, it still is no justification. Of course, no, 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 no. <laughs> Everything no. they're saying does not justify no killing him. I like I said. I think the some here's the thing that kind of pisses me off. Like they they shoot him 20 times and they still feel, feel the need to uh, handcuff him. <laughs> like it's like it's a Charles Bronson uh, he's movie. Come back to, he's the Undertaker. Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, unbelievable. Like, come on, yeah, man, come back please. to life. Yes, right. So it's unbelievable. All right, uh, let's get to some viral videos real quick. Um, so this one's a, a pretty interesting one. So this is an interracial couple who was uh, kicked out of a lift <laughs> because they believed the lift driver was racist. Um, here's the clip. The Seattle couple. We celebrated one year together a couple weeks ago. It was wonderful. Alex Dugdale and Kylie Steinbaum. They definitely go to Comic Con. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Until last week. We need people to know oh that this kind of thing still happens. This kind of uh, racial harassment and bigotry, it still happens. It was on St. Patrick's Day. They ordered a lift to pick them up in Lake City. We asked if we could make a stop at 7 Eleven. And he said no, and we said okay. They say they barely traveled a block before the driver said this. You know what? You guys can get out here. I'm canceling your ride. Get out of my car. I so the 7-Eleven was the tipping point. I could have done in that time. Like, why on earth are we being pulled, like, told to get out of the car? Kylie says at that point, the driver, who had a camera mounted to the <laughs> dashboard, turned it so it was facing her. At the same time, her boyfriend, Alex, got out of the car and walked around to open her door. As I was getting Kylie out of the car, and I said, well, sweetheart, he might not like mixed race couples. They turned to leave, <laughs> but say the driver wasn't done. He rolled down the window and he screamed at me, you're an <laughs> you <laughs> He said that word. He said the N word. And because of that, it... Oh, oh my it took it to a whole nother level of, you know, harassment. When they reported it to Lyft, they say they were Guys, disappointed by the initial It's 2018. Response. We still have racism. Father asking what the altercation was. He just said, OK, we won't pair you with this driver again. In a statement, Lyft says they do not tolerate discrimination and are investigating the incident. The company notes they've reached out to the driver and the couple 
and both parties are alleging inappropriate behavior. That is completely false. The driver is wrong. We Ooh, did nothing it wrong on. or inappropriate. Now the couple has filed a police report and posted about it on social media. This should not be tolerated, will not be tolerated. Together, they want to send that message. Uber and Lyft the, drivers and are quietly discriminating against riders based on gender and race, according to a new study. In fact, Uber drivers in Boston were more than twice as likely to cancel rides of passengers who had African-American sounding names wow. and white sounding Boston, names. Say. Meanwhile, drivers... Is anyone surprised with that? Is <laughs> 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 that by any chance? The study was done by professors at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Stanford, and the University of Washington. Wow. They better start doing background checks on their drivers. Well, you, yes, do what what do you me? feel about niggers? <laughs> hate them. A, I love them. B, I hate them. Like, Thank what, you. That's it. What's, what's the test? Feel right there. Do that or assessment test. Do something. Remember, you How are do you crazy assess people like Do you like listen, this Tyler Perry movie? Listen, listen. <laughs> Yo, crazy? have you seen Black Panther? Yo, my Which ass would be wild racist. Would you feel so comfortable with a crazy man like that having your life in his hands driving you around? Yo, but again, how do you... How I mean, besides something like this happening... Listen, there are assessment tests you can take. There's some type of... There's something you can a take. A racist sure you assessment test? Yes, yes, Okay, something. so, so, so something. let's... let's, let's how make, does this cross burning make you feel? <laughs> Warm? <laughs> Crystal ass would be like, yes, burn that crust. I'm cold. <laughs> People that honest, as you like, can see... People that honest. Because it doesn't make her racist. Yeah, how, but I just want to know. I'm definitely way. not the easiest person to drive around. Yes. Excuse me. Can you <laughs> can you put the temperature oh, up I to 74 imagine. and a half? <laughs> can you put on 107 BLS, please? <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, do you mind turning the volume up to 14? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, so, what are some of the questions that you need to see that would yeah, yes. let you know that One, you know you, what? Do you like black people? Too. And what do you think? Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Answer when you, that when you're angry, when you're angry, do you take a drive around? Whoa, how does that what? can you make it anywhere on time when you, <laughs> listen when you get your driver's license right yes those same questions apply if okay, you're angry do you, are you supposed to that's drive to, around that's to, that's to determine if you're a good driver not I if you're a racist he's driving a car that. he's driving I never a car remember, yeah. they, we had that question when I got my license yes but again, yes. how does the that determine, the thing? Yeah, yes, how does exactly. that determine if, you're, if you're a racist? Well, that's I'm, I'm probably stretching that part out, but I'm just saying. No. Somebody that angry, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> somebody that angry. No. Do <laughs> so you know what, what kind of is? <laughs> like, those, are, those are appropriate questions. That, so, and if they don't know what Wakanda is, that determines that they're racist. I don't want to judge me. Or maybe they didn't see the movie, perhaps. Right. Listen to if I can give education. You know, I would if they did a test like that, I would love them to interview West Indian cab drivers because they are <laughs> worse than white men. The funny thing is you. they're gonna they're gonna be hundred percent honest though. What? No, they no, will fail. get out. <laughs> they will tell you in a second. I don't want them in my He's car. Like, exactly. what do I do? Especially American blacks, yes. Yo, if it's African yes. ones, what? Yes. What? Yo, you pay yes. the full asses out of here. Yo. There should be a psych test. Exactly. Thank you, Daniel. There should be a psych There would be no cab drivers. If they're psyched, <laughs> none whatsoever. There would be none. 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 That's that a problem. Right. I've then. never had. So a, we actually are I feeling had, comfortable with all, this. In all my life, I had one regular Uber driver. And Every other Uber driver I had, I'd be like, yo. And we're, and we're okay this with is that. A, this is a person. <laughs> this is what he looked like. This is a license plate number. You never see me again. Have you ever? I had Uber one tell me. Normal. I had one Uber driver tell me about being a pimp on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you. So you're telling me, guys, that we are okay with this? No. Yo, me being cheap as I am, I'm going to put my hand on you. How are you assessing? You're not even like taking that. a cab. Thank you. Yeah, for us, first of all. Yeah, you you're rather Thank you. No, how are you These are one of the reasons How why. are you supposed to assess <laughs> by a questionnaire or just like a psych exam to find out if a person's racist That's enough? That's responsibility. We just make sure that That's this is a That's responsibility. Yes. Okay. Make sure no, their the responsibility is get his ass out the car now <laughs> that they know he over here. <laughs> Right. Pulling this, this poor. They did the right thing. This poor crossover Negro <laughs> who dated his white girl. All right. They Names. did the right thing. Okay? Come on, Mom, let's go. I, I know he had to turn around to find out that brother was black. He wasn't listening to him talk. <laughs> he went the whole ride not knowing. <laughs> Shit, was that a nigger? Uh, no. Nah, well, if you notice the camera, they didn't put his face on there. Yo, so they <laughs> the part where he was like, he actually said the N word. Yeah. He sounded like an outraged white dude. Yes, he really did. You know white boys get yes. mad when you break up race? What? <laughs> Racism? <laughs> Shit! In 2018? Like, he sounded like that dude. <laughs> Yo, if we can play that video again, that part in particular was hilarious. <laughs> I was wondering why they didn't put the camera on him until later on. Bro. 
Yeah, it makes sense. They wanted to surprise you. Yeah, that definitely was a surprise. That's why you turned around the camera on the dashboard. He's like, word. I thought he was a male Rachel. Even more than that, this was Ricky Dolan's out. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to know how they met. How you think they met? You think they met online? Yeah, they met at whitepeoplemeet.com. If if this is the brother to piss you off, don't let my soul brother ass get in the back seat. <laughs> Where to? Harlem. Like <laughs> he be mad at me, baby. <laughs> There'd have been no block to Seven Eleven. Oh my god. Yeah, that, he well, did. Yeah. Because it's funny when we were doing pre-production. Boris is like, yo. Yeah. Like, is that guy white? And I'm like, no. He's because we didn't really see the video. We just heard it in, in pre-production. So right. Boris like, yo, it's clear. A white guy. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> I, was like, no. I was like, no, the guy's black. He's like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> yeah. All right, pull up the uh, the YouTube video. So uh, I don't know the, what, the, the name. I, th I think this show is based in London. I'm not really sure. but So there's a mother who's just owned uh -uh, her. Look at her already. She's I just. I Let us wait for her to put her foot in her mouth first before we judge her. Yeah, thank you. You can't, you can't judge her. You can't just see that. That hair is crazy. You could judge yeah, a book so by she is a, her, her, that skin looks like beef jerky. Her daughter hair. is, has, she's disowned her daughter because she uh, has been impregnated by a black man. <gasps> I would just want to voice. How do we distinguish whether this woman is not having Christmas? In this picture right here, you could judge a book by its cover. I'm sorry. Right, let's take a look She's at this. Let's, let's take a look at this clip. Oh my god. Stomach. I feel like my daughters have forgot the way I raised them, and I do not appreciate the way they. She's probably on some West Indian island. My family, and now we have a black baby on the way. A black baby. So, Casey, you're here. Why today? Well, my daughters brought me on TV. That to wig is get crazy. My feelings out. <laughs> and what are your feelings about their fiance? You're telling the black partners? woman. Well, I'm not happy with the choices that they've made in their lives. Mm. Right. Like, like the partners they've chosen. Yes. Oh. Who would you love to have seen your daughters with? I would love to have seen my daughter. Mm. <laughs> Can we get him in? Wow, it is so. Oh, I'm getting for class. She don't want to say what she don't want to say because she's What's talking up? to a black woman. Wow. Mm. She is so heartbroken about this. Chill, is she son, laughing or crying? What is going on? She's crying. Huh? I know your black ass is about to hug you. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Are you worried that because I'm black, you don't want to tell me how you Right. <laughs> no, because, I tell you why. I tell you why. Because, no, I'm, I'm genuinely interested and we've done right. a series on race and I, I wouldn't have invited you here if I didn't want to hear what you said and have to agree with everything you say. But this is America and you have a, a right to free speech. Okay, so it's not based on What of America is this? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't maybe reveal this, but I will. When we did the interviews with your daughters, mm -hmm. both of them were absolutely glowing about what a fantastic mom you were when they were just growing up. Niggers, that's all it is. Them and everything, Thank and you, sir. you know, and and I think you love them Boy, very much. Wait, both of them? Mm -hmm. Oh no! What? <laughs> yes. What's in the water up there? Do you think people are going to look oh, down? Oh my them God! Or judge? Yes, them? I think people look down. Yeah. Do you think they'll judge you as well? Do you think? No, no, I don't think No, this think clip is like 33 judged. minutes long, so um, we can like keep no, fast forward because it's going to be fun. I think they will be judged throughout their life. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, you said, said, said yeah, fast forward to when a brother like come out. music. You said, oh, I, I, I hate oh. that rap crap. You said the picture now, you pause said it there. Is I, I, I have to agree with her there. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Rap is crap. Yes. <laughs> is she talking about that Migos rap? Yes. I have to agree with her there. I was listening to Stir Fire on the way here. I hate it too. I can't agree. I gotta agree with her there. I hate it too. She does bring up a valid point. Wow. To be fair, rap is crap. If I have children, they bring home one of these skinny jean rappers. I, I don't know, some one of these mumble rappers. To be fair, whether they, whether they're white or black, you'll catch me on that 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 right. chair as well. Yes, right, 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 crying as well. <laughs> look, 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 at, look at the brother, brother about to moonwalk out. You come come wear a suit, sir. Hi, hi, John. Hey, how you doing? Um, and like, she got like a black guy too. Like, he's a Negro. Negro. Yeah. He looks kind of small. There's no doubt. People don't think like this if they're not racist. Hi, John. What does she say to you about John? <laughs> she thinks it's just not right that I'm that I'm with him. She doesn't see how I could go to bed with him. She just thinks it's disgusting laying to, you know, a black man. Like so when we were flying down face? here, a black man right. sat next to her on the plane. She got up. Wow! Did you really? He had body odor. Did I not tell you that? Oh. She said, uh, 
But you know what? And that's, you think that's the excuse to move. No. It, it smelled like Hennessy and black. You have never <laughs> invited smell like him over for a meal. She's like, I mean, you don't even talk to him. It's short and sweet when you come over. You're nice to his face, but then you you tell me that you don't want me and him together. And I need to find me a white guy, and he works. He takes care of me and my kids. <laughs> what, what's what's the Hold problem? Hold on, now stop, 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 stop it. Stop it. Because I think the daughter's a little bit racist too. This idea that oh he works. And takes care of the kids. <laughs> What's up with that feeling? That stereotype. That's not fair. But the grandmother still sprays the couch when he leaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. She Where's the grease? Be in the pillows like. Does it I come could off? imagine. Yes. <laughs> that Hennessy sent out of here. Black and mild. Yo, what? <laughs> Smell like crown fried chicken. He smells like Frankie Beverly and Maze. <laughs> Before I let you. <laughs> Damn. Oh, good. Imagine if I was in the house. And her oh. fiance. Look at this one though. Stay tuned. We've been talking. Uh, to Casey, her daughter Ashley, and Ashley's boyfriend John. Now, Casey openly admits she was pretty devastated and hurt that her two daughters devastated were both and hurt. dating black men. Her daughter Cynthia, who we're going to meet in a moment, is now five months pregnant with her fiance James's Look at baby. Face. Now, Casey yeah. is mortified <laughs> that she has black blood mixed in her family's Raw. blood. Uh -huh. She says she doesn't plan to be there for the birth of her grandchild. Well, Cynthia's upset that her mother won't even acknowledge her pregnancy. I would even I would Let's love to go to that baby shower. Cynthia's you know what? That'd be great. I thought I had fun yesterday. Right? Right? I'll be five minutes and I late. I want to know if my mother is going to be racist towards my oh, child. Oh, she got different ways. Oh, my mom doesn't approve of James because she doesn't believe that me and my sister should be with black men. Oh, no, James is fully black here. Um, I'm about to say something. I don't think James got the only thing down. Russell Wilson in Yeah, just tap it. Yo, I by the, the music that they use. Yes. Stop him. Um, racism. To my mom holding my child for the first time. She doesn't want to hold your child. Your child's black. Can't be holding him like this. <laughs> you don't bother me that she's gonna treat this child. Put him in the supermarket basket like right. this, baby. <laughs> the love and affection and attention she's given my child wow. will be fake. Please welcome Cynthia and her fiance. No. So you mad that you're not acknowledging she's not acknowledging the baby, but if she does, she's gonna she's gonna the, it's gonna be fake. She's pregnant. Yeah, she is. No. Hi, Cynthia. I'm about this dude, man. Yeah, I he's know. not black. Yeah, I gotta check his black card. I gotta check his black card. What's your heritage? I gotta check his black card. I am black and Korean. Uh, and Korean. Black and Korean. <laughs> Tiger Woods ass. <laughs> um, and Cynthia, why are you here today? Um, I'm here. At, my baby's due in two months, and I don't look forward to my mom holding my child for mm. the first time. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. I, I really can't stand y'all. <laughs> Has she ever said anything to you about your partner, yes, James, nigger. though? If he was a white um, Abercrombie profile, then it would be okay. Abercrombie profile. Um, my fiancé is black. Over it's two. not. Do you find it even hard to look at your mom? Are you happy to see her? I am happy to see mom, but it does hurt. Like, she knows. She knows how I feel, you know, but it's, it's, it's not fair. It's, it's not fair that I should have to feel like this. I, she's going to love my baby no matter what. And, oh, no, she's not. But at the same time, I do yeah, try to give it not. to her. How do you feel seeing your daughter so upset about something that should be a joyous occasion? Well, I think Cynthia's going to be really surprised when I do see the baby. And she may not be handing the baby to me. I probably will be taking the baby from her. So I think she's going to be what? surprised. So I swear, I think she has those clip-on teeth. You know the ones that you know what said? I don't know. She has them. I'll be comfortable Look, with her I mean, touching my baby. Trailer Park trash with teeth, though? Are you surprised? Oh. We've never had any harsh words. James? No, we've never had harsh words, you know, uh, but that's just because we really don't talk. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's partly because I know how she what feels about all this. And, you know, know, I her not to accept Ooh, my baby, Ooh, our baby that we're bringing into this world. Where's the Korean slander? Why is it just about him being um, black? I know. There's really no reason for us to talk. Sorry, pause it there. I mean... This is what we need. we need our own talk show, man. <laughs> like, that's what I realized. That's we would be fighting with each other the whole talk show. We can't even interview people. <laughs> that's How's gonna, that going to turn out? It would be great, especially if we had a story like this. Bina would tell me to shut up so somebody else could talk. <laughs> it's not going to work. No, I'm telling you, it'd it be would perfect. Work. It would be perfect. If we have families like this coming on the show, yeah. gold. Yeah. Gold. I'd love to question them. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. I'm just wondering. And why, Bino, why don't you like him? I think <laughs> Bino, brings up, Bino brings up a good point. Why are we not attacking the Korean part about it? Hmm. He's black and Korean. 
Kind of look like Miguel. It only bothers her that he's black. Yeah. No, nah, I think he was just playing Korean. She'd be saying some right. shit too. Um, you think so? You think it was because she says she wants the white Abercrombie profile? Yeah, for her yes. girls. I think they would get it too. I'm just saying. What's the, what's the thread saying? Oh yeah, gosh, <laughs> I'm getting Let's break hammered. It down. I got I got to scroll back up here. <laughs> Definitely get hammered. So. Actually, <laughs> yes, Charles says the second guy reminds reminds him of you for some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, I caught it. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Zig says, get those Popeye <laughs> crumbs off my table. I guess referring to the grandma, referring okay. to, uh, yes, right. the Negroes there, okay? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, Big Keith says they will be judged their whole life by their oh, own who, grandma. Who, who, who are yeah, these too. people? Wait, let's go back. Who are these people? Oh. Wasn't it Chris Jenner? <laughs> yeah, oh wow! Uh, she's like, she's like Chris and Bruce, but kissing. Play yeah. that boy. Who, who is that? <laughs> Wi-Fi is a little bit down. Oh jeez. Oh, yeah, uh, it was acting up on my phone. So he's clearly someone's father. Yeah, one of those black dudes' father. And the other dude is who? She looks like my second. That is a that is a teacher. woman. I oh, think. I'm, that sorry. Is <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know. Kind of look like though. my seventh grade teacher. Yeah, she looks like a teacher. Yeah. She looks like a, a Caitlyn. Oh, Come on, man. She does. I'm sorry. The views and expressions are those. I mean, cool. <laughs> I mean, cool, so man. All right, so this is a woman or a dude? Uh, that's a woman. A woman. <laughs> before clearly? Before clearly, we, I don't know yes, about clearly, but clearly that's a woman. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, look at the neck. <laughs> now look at mine. Clearly, that's a woman. I'm clearly a man. Clearly, that, that is a woman. That's a vein. That's not. That's a, a vein. That's a vein. That's not an Adam's apple. That's a vein. Don't touch it. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Get off my neck, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> really? Really, oh. Preach? really, preach? Oh, oh my god, god. crazy! Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Something's wrong with my yes. wife. Yeah, that dude this. looks like Lou Rawls. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, obviously we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we won't get to the bottom of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, hopefully, we, get, we got to. Oh, I, hopefully. I have to find out who that is. If not, tune in next week. I'm yeah. just bringing random interracial couples yes. into the studio. Now. Hey, That's the fuck you're with a black guy sitting next to a white woman. Come on up here. <laughs> Making the mother even more pissed. I, know, I don't even know each other. Um, actually, I'm just sitting next to her. This is even getting more pissed. I think the internet is tired of this racism. Yo, what? Yo, word, man. <laughs> internet lives matter, damn it. I'm playing hating. <laughs> Oh my god! All right, man, we'll, we'll leave this alone. We get out of this video, man. Um, let's get to this. Uh, oh man, I don't even want to. This is a, a pretty New York video. Oh, okay. We've all had our little. I don't know if you've had confrontation. Have you ever like had a serious confrontation with cops? Like where you talked back or you heated? Yeah. Oh, okay. And have no, you man. have you voiced or you've been pretty? You're all right. We believe that you haven't. Have you had dealt with any? Uh, arguments with any no, cops, Crystal. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Rashad. That's a man. She's got an Adam's apple. Oh, that is not thank a you, Rashad. man, Rashad. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta get our vein. internet back. Appreciate it, Rashad. <laughs> All right, so this was a conversation between a group of cops and a group of kids. I, I'm guessing this is uptown because it sounded really uptown. It's very Harlem, Bronx. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very much yeah. so. Uh, here's the clip. Internet you don't know about this gun. What are you talking about? I didn't pull out my gun. He was about to. He was about to. Oh, you, you, did you feel threatened? Because he was behind you? Oh, right. Get the okay. fuck out of here, bro. That's where you get out of line. No, he don't know. Yo, what? What? This is my what? This is my what? Like what? What the fuck is your talking about? Live here like what? See the address? You need help. Help pussy. Fuck. Hey, yo. I'm right here. So take the badge off. Take the badge off. Take the badge off. Take the bag off. Yo, yo, take. I'm still on guard. I will beat the shit out of you. Fuck my dick, dick. Yo, what? Yo, what's my dick? I will beat the shit out of you. <laughs> that, is, that is the most New York argument I've heard in a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty Jesus much all thing. language I use yes. on a regular. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm the guys, surprised they didn't get the ass. They're wearing Tim's. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. They yeah. had a Nike Chang. Jackie, 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 yep, pretty much. Yep. Jackie Chang. Chopped cheese was on deck. They were, they were. Uh, yeah. You know, to this day, I still haven't had a chopped cheese. Me neither, actually. I never had chopped cheese. I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> but that means I have to pay for it. That's correct.
Yeah, sure. Yeah, you you yeah. do divide how much chicken you use in a week. Yeah, that's correct. Correct. Let's take a break, bro. I can't, I can't stand y'all two. I can't, I can't. Sometimes this lateness and you just out of the culture. I don't understand. I am very much in the culture. I won that game yesterday and knew all them songs. Excuse me. Sunday morning breakfast. We'll be right back. It feels like you're frozen. Petrified. You're struggling with your mortgage payments. The bills begin to pile up. Not knowing what to do. You do nothing at all. And that's the worst thing you can do. Because if you take action, if you do something about your mortgage problems, you're far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call 888-995-HOPE to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers right now call 888-995-HOPE or visit makinghomeaffordable.gov and do something about your mortgage problems brought to you by the u.s treasury hud and the ad council take a look under your bed find stuff under there what about jobs no now try your basement there's a pair of overalls that overall you're not so into anymore a perfectly good laptop that hasn't sat in your lap in months and even more stuff but still no jobs well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed, and they're the stuff inside your stuff, even inside that winter coat that moved with you to Phoenix. Our job is to unlock those jobs, and it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover key tar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Find your nearest donation center at Goodwill.org. A message from Goodwill and the Ad Council. Dear John, I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but you've left me no choice. I'm leaving. Uncontrolled high blood pressure is really serious, and lately you seem to really not care. I've been there for you since day one, and I know you think I'm going to keep ticking. But no, my friend, I can quit whenever I want. Why can't we get back to the good times, when we were more active and ate more healthy foods, and you checked on me every once in a while? Is that too much to ask? I don't want to leave, but unless you stop ignoring me, what else am I supposed to do? Remember, when I quit, you quit. Sincerely, your heart. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Doing the minimum to control your high blood pressure isn't doing enough. High blood pressure can lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get your blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. Find out how at heart.org slash blood pressure. Check, change, control. A message from the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Psst. Yeah, you. It's me, your heart. Listen to me. We've got to talk. High blood pressure is serious, and yours? Whoa, what happened to us? We used to be so much more active, but lately you've been ignoring me. I know you think I'm just gonna keep ticking away forever, but you're wrong. You can do so much more to control your high blood pressure. Doing the minimum isn't doing enough. I'm under a lot of pressure and can quit whenever I want. Bet you didn't know that. But I like my job. Just treat me better. Check on me. Give me something green to nibble on every once in a while. And maybe we can do some exercise on occasion. Let's get to it. After all, we're in this together. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. High blood pressure can lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get your blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. Find out how at heart.org slash blood pressure. Check change control. A message from the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Hey, Dr. Phil here. I help people solve difficult and trying personal problems every day on my TV show, but there's one problem that's just got me stumped. Childhood hunger. Nearly 16 million children in America struggle with it. That's one in five kids who may not know where their next meal is coming from, despite the fact that there's more than enough healthy, nutritious food out there to feed them all. Now, I don't know about you, but that is unacceptable to me. Luckily, the Feeding America network of good people is out there collecting surplus food 
and giving hope to hungry children and their families at local food banks all across the country. But let's face it, they can't do it without your help. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Hi, I'm Layla Ali. I might be undefeated in professional boxing, but there's one problem even I can't fight alone. Childhood hunger. Over 17 million kids in America may not know where their next meal is coming from. That's one in five children. Yet billions of pounds of surplus food produced right here in America just get thrown out every year. That's more than enough to feed every last hungry child. That's why the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks gathers surplus food and gets it to hungry kids before it goes to waste. But they can't do it without your help. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank by going to feedingamerica.org. Together we can knock out hunger. Together we're Feeding America. To help solve hunger in your community and to find your local food bank, visit feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Dad? Son, come home with me. Visit the secret panda village? Sleep like a panda. Eat like a panda. I knew I wasn't eating up to my potential. It's not always easy being a dad, but it's always worth it. Let me teach you how to belly golf. <laughs> awesome! Take time to be a dad today. Thanks, Dad. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. All right, Sunday morning breakfast. Call us at 516-900-2278. So did anybody see? I'm not not down with these young rappers these days. Uh, They're wearing, like, rainbow hair or so on and so forth. So um, an artist by the name of Takashi69 was on The Breakfast Club this week. And pretty much it was um, it was a lot of pause um, worthy moments. Yep. Let my balls hang. Uh, mm-hmm. And for those who don't know who Tsukashi is, he's pretty much made his living off of essentially being a confrontational rapper and a pedophile. Yes, I guess you, you could say that. To well, be fair, he hasn't made his living off of that. But guy, yeah. Oh no, no. Well, that's part of the story. I mean, yes. I think it's more. But it's been more about the stories behind him as opposed to his actual talent or lack thereof. I haven't heard. I'm not, I haven't really listened to him. So, he's on the Breakfast Club, and it's a very um, don't know why you definitely see the difference between our generation and the younger generation. They're very much so um, crazy. Yes, <laughs> but it's stupid. A, it's a lot more uh, clickbait driven and gimmicks, et gimmicks, and I want to beef. Like he 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 wants to offend everybody. Yeah, the game, 50. yeah. Uh, Fifty did it a little bit differently. Yes. Fifty meant it, yes, <laughs> like yes. to be fair. Yes. Where this, where is this one? He's he's from Brooklyn. You would think he's from Florida or something. Uh, but the whole interview is is him saying, you know what? He doesn't care. He's been built off of nothing. He's not afraid to die. He yes. doesn't mind having ecstatic. Uh, he's not afraid to kill. Also, <sighs> yeah. I didn't hear that part of the interview. He said he's ready to kill and he's ready to die. And that's when uh, Charlemagne. Was like, no, and but why would you? And here's a word of advice to these new uh, artists. Like, what's the what's the whole point of? And let me play a little bit of this. Well, what happened in that situation with Jay Prince? Um, I don't know the homie. I remember we we was in a sneaker store. It was a it was a Saturday, I believe, right? We mm-hmm. was in a sneaker store. Um, a dude invited us to come, you know, show his shop some love. By the way, they don't really grasp the English no, English no. language that well no, either. That's another thing. Like, <laughs> and the dude, Definitely and the dude the comes up to me, um, the 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 dude with the sneakers, and is just like, "Yo, like, um, do you know who's Jay Prince?" And I'm like, "I heard the name." Yeah, sorry for all those who's losing brain cells Cardi right now. Cardi B is yeah. different. Car- Car- shout out Cardi B. Mm-hmm. Cardi B, um, is in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? With more publicity. Um, what did he say? Yeah, number Bodak one record Yellow. in the country. He no, says he's the hottest in New York, Correct. by the way. Yes. Yes. He's he's the the SNL next week. And that's why he had to mention yeah. Cardi B. I'm the, hottest, oh, yeah. I'm the hottest artist in the city. No, you're not. I'm definitely the hottest. <laughs> no. Got, All right, got, but let's talk about the credentials and why you say that. Um, Every song I put out is, is, makes Billboard Top 100. I don't get no cosigns. I don't got no that easy cosign. I don't got no offset cosign. You know what I'm saying? Where, Shout like, out Cardi. I'm self-made. Still, I'll give him that. You know Cardi didn't saying? have that in the beginning, though. She had her two mixtapes out, True. and then Bodak Yellow was a song by herself. That's Very why. Cool. That's why it was such a big deal when she Bodak. went number one. 
Cause she was the what first. What you say? She had two what? Two mixtapes. Right, my f- my first project was top five Billboard debut. She debuted on Billboard her mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> her, her second. My yeah, I'm done with this interview. Uh, <laughs> but that's basically the the. He's a very cocky kid. Asks for asking for a lot of trouble for the. I mean, there was a story where he went out to L.A. and I think he claims blood, but it also yes. was a crip as well. And yeah, they asked him about all that craziness. Yes. And he also claimed that he only travels with two people max. Meanwhile, in that I video, mean, you seen clearly more than two people getting I think asked he, by I, two people. <laughs> I, look, the premise of the interview was basically Charlemagne saying, "Listen, I, I'm getting too old for this," and I would have to agree with him wholeheartedly. Yeah, no, I definitely started to feel like Danny Glover myself. I would put a meme up <laughs> right. in, in, in regards to that. I will say this much: it was a fascinating interview. Mm-hmm. It was fascinatingly <laughs> ignorant, but I enjoyed it. It's literally the car wreck that right. you just can't take your eyes off. And I feel like they—you know how usually the day before they be like, "This person's on." <laughs> I don't think they did that they with him. No. They didn't promote it. I just saw it in the think morning they didn't and he was just on. Yeah. yeah, I think they did that with him because there's so much bad stigma around him. Mm-hmm. They don't want nobody meeting them at the studio. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, he's really, really, like, he made a couple appearance a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget in New York. Literally, like, the place looked like gangland. Like, it was no. But he's not a thug. It doesn't Clearly, matter. Yo, they what, put up old pictures of him at his quinceanera and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, as people get older, they change. Like, you're not going to be a thug at three. You know what I'm saying? No, but, but like, he wasn't a thug at 15, 2016 right, either. Right. Is what I'm but, saying. But He's I, not a thug in 2018 either. No. Right. But I also feel like he he's, he's definitely doing it for the image. And you know when people start getting that attention, people don't care if it's good attention or bad attention. And I feel like whatever... I feel like a major- 98% of what Charlamagne said, I totally agree with. Like, I'm very scared. 98%. Yeah, like, I'm very what, scared did you for with? him. I, look, I'm not... And this is, like I said, this is basically... You definitely see the difference between our generation and this Absolutely. new generation. With yeah, this. You say that, though, but again, Pac played the same role. Pac had an intelligent conversation. He did. He right. did. And he was the <laughs> one. Not, fair enough. And he had talent. And not, I've never heard this kid's music, but right. whatever. But my point is, you know, Pac was talented, etc. Pac... Wild out on a whole thug life thing as well, and clearly he's no longer with us. Yes. So in other words, better men have tried and played this game and lost to it. It is what it Good is. Good point. Listen, that's an people, excellent point. Smart men learn from other people's um, mistakes. mistakes. Like he's you not, not he's clearly. wilding. All right, man. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, again, I, I look. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy right. that that shit. For this. I, I, <laughs> I enjoyed it. I, I thought was I was gonna watch ten minutes of it. Yeah, no, it's like an hour. It was an hour. And it got, and it got yeah. and the whole hour. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. It's tough when you go into outlets like that just because those the hosts are older, yes, late thirties and forties, and you're bringing in kids who are now part of the culture. And it's like that conversation's so tough to have just I don't because know if you can say they're part of the culture. I think they're creating their own now. Well, right, exactly. But it's still, it's still quote unquote. Hip hop. Really? So, <laughs> I, yeah, I will say, that. I will say that I've seen him at a club performance, and it's crazy. No, I will give him it's that. He crazy. has that. They say he's he like high it's, energy, etc. Like, like, cr- like people will grown men yes. with a suit on will go crazy for this boy. Like right. he has something, whether we agree with it or not, no, whether I, we think I he looks stupid or not, he has that it appeal to him. No, it's just that. all of the ignorance behind it that's the issue. All right, all right we have a call. What's your name? Where you calling from? Yeah, What's, the infamous Charles. 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 Now you're infamous. Now you're infamous. Oh, you, infamous. Oh, you see what happens when people call? Nah, nah, I acted out having some fun. Nah, I just wanted to, um, to, <laughs> to, to chime question. in on that uh, Takashi 69, whatever hey, yo. his name is. Yeah, definitely pause the last part of that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously, man, like he, he's really playing with death, man. That dude is... Like, you know, this that gang culture is no joke. And people can, you know, like make light of it or whatever else, man. But, you know, mm. he's already getting all kinds of threats and everything else, man. They, I, I hate to say it, man, but we're going to be reading about this dude if he don't change. Yeah, so he, he's, getting, he's getting a lot of get over it in two weeks. He's gaining, yeah, he's gaining a lot of enemies. And that whole me against the world and mentality yes. is really, really it dangerous. Doesn't, it, it, it never worked, okay? Right. Tupac, dead and buried. Biggie Smalls, dead and buried. And Biggie wasn't Biggie even that Biggie type of even I feel like Biggie that was shit. like that, yeah. Yeah, Biggie was never like that yeah. either. Look, Big L, dead and yes. buried. Okay? And and these guys, these these guys, and mind you, my family's in the music industry. So, yeah, Biggie was, 
about some of that stuff, okay? By the way, let, let, me, let, me, let me interrupt you. Yeah. Uh, so there was a story about Trey Songz. Uh, with, to get, and, uh, he, was, he was charged with domestic violence? Fuck Trey Songz. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Charles, please. <laughs> Whoa. A little bit of country in this new yeah. Well, nah, well, Charles, tell the audience you know, why you feel that way. Bino knows why I feel that way. You should, um, sure. No, okay. No, nah, just to be fair, I'm, I'm just going to say it good talk, too. Cause, um, and trust me, I was a fan of this dude. I helped this dude promote his music, everything, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the only reason I say that is because, okay, um, a couple of years back, um, my niece, my my, um, my my niece, my little cousin came mm -hmm. to North and she was a huge Trey Songs fan. Right. right. And my, my little cousin ain't about all that stuff. You know, she rarely goes out or whatever. So what happened, um, she um, went to meet Trey Songs and Trey Songs was there. And then next thing you know, um, he I don't know if he, was, he didn't want no pictures taken or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever happened. So I think he thought, like, she took a picture. You know how fans are, girls. Of course. Fans are, took a picture. So he rolls up on her and makes her delete the picture. She deletes the picture, fine. Then calling her a bitch and then took her phone and broke her new iPhone. Mm. So, you, you seen, so you've on, seen this anger from him before? Yeah. Mm. But, mm. God, but God was on his side. That they ain't tell me that night because of that. Cause I was 15 minutes from Norfolk. Y'all have been reading about me in <laughs> CNN and World Star. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I, 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 one thing that... Going against that, Chase on Home Security. <laughs> no, that's one thing I don't play about is my family. I agree with that. I got you. That's I got it. you. So that's why that's why I feel that way. But you know what? In all in all fairness, like I said, that was years ago. I just don't rock with the brother. You're a new man. I just don't you know, yeah, yeah, I'm a new man. That's what I just I don't rock with him. But um because of that moment, you know, and I, I hope he gets help or whatever else he needs, man, but you hey, know, like hey. his actions are finally catching up with him. Well, it's fair to say now he's right, going to be rocking with people with. Uh, he's going to be rocking with inmates in prison. I don't know. I man. think he'd be happy uh, about that. I, I've just heard too many stories about Trey songs, and he's had these certain well, like anger, and anger and issues yeah. that have gone on. Very Chris Brownish. Sorry, Chris. But yeah, yeah. Well, where, where's the music? Uh, uh, I, I, I want to yeah. respond to what Charles was saying with regards to this Takashi guy. You mentioned Big L. You mentioned Tupac. You mentioned Biggie. Right? All of these people. Yes. They passed away, but we still listen to their music today. Right. I'm sorry. I'm going to sound harsh with this, but if Takachi has it runs into that same situation, I think he's going to get all about five minutes of silence. I think, but like I said, it's, it's a generational thing. You definitely see the difference in, in how they digest music and the, mm -hmm. and the type of music they like compared mm -hmm. to what we used to. I mean, we could, we could, we're the old folks that talk about the classics now. Oh, back in my day, we had Bad Boy. <laughs> and Rockefeller. <laughs> like, we, that's so what, we all saw the way he was jamming in that car. And we to the lyrics. And we still say them today. Right. All right, let's get to News of the Weird. So we got a couple of them. And this guy is a, is a genius. So <laughs> this story comes out of Flushing, New York. Uh, a local man who tried to cash in a winning lottery ticket that he allegedly stole from a deli in the, from the previous day. His name is Anthony Rodriguez, 31, was arrested by the 111th Precinct. Uh, he faces charges of burglary, grand larceny, criminal mischief, and third degree, and is being held at $75,000 bail. According to the complaint, uh, Rodriguez allegedly entered a construction site and proceeded to cut a hole in the drywall separating the uh, adjacent storefront. Uh, surveillance footage showed, <laughs> allegedly shows Rodriguez climbing through the hole, entering the deli, and going to the cash register in the, in the lottery station. Which where he removed $5,000 in cash and 3500 worth of lottery tickets. <laughs> he then exits the location and then through the same hole, right? <laughs> then on February 2nd, an employee at the deli entered the business and observed that the location was ransacked later the same day. And saw a big hole in a wall. Yes. Right. Later that same day, Rodriguez entered the deli during business hours. Through that same hole. <laughs> <laughs> And attempted to cash in the scratch-off lottery ticket. Why he didn't just go to another one? Why did he wear a mask or something? Which had a serial number matching the one that was reported stolen in the incident. Also, oh, either way, he would have got arrested because that's yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I could have been sold to me in the street. I, uh, <laughs> if your name is few, not Simon, a few fun facts here by a uh, <laughs> lotto ticket scratcher. <laughs> so the store, once they open that pack. They have to um, scan one of them. That's Registry. how it becomes valid. Yes, okay. So even if you took that to another store, 
they would know it's not valid. Mm -hmm. So they would know that you stole it. Mm. That's one. Mm. He thought he was Ocean's Eleven over it. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he thought... <laughs> he's got the big drill. <laughs> That's some crazy he's shit. Tony in the yeah, store, I know, right? <laughs> like the Pink Panther. <laughs> well, why would you even go back to the scene, the scene of the crime? Yeah, that's that's, that's stupid. He I put mean, more um, thought into the uh, <laughs> the thievery than he did. Yes, exactly. exactly. Unbelievable. Another story out from Chicago. Um, Carlil Calhoun, a 46-year-old, uh, 10-year department veteran, is a Chicago police officer. Um, he is charged with criminal uh, sexual assault and official mischief. Apparently, uh, he was supposed to be transporting a uh, uh, inmate, I believe, or a suspect, um, where he had the, the 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 victim was having suicidal thoughts. So that him, Calhoun, and another officer were assigned to take him to Saint Bernard Hospital and guard him while he was he underwent observation. The other officer left to eat. <laughs> Calhoun began to massage the man's bare foot as his left foot. His left hand, I'm sorry, and foot were shackled to the bed. Calhoun then grabbed the victim's genitals and took a cell phone photo of them. Whoa. After the off other officer returned, Calhoun escorted the man to a bathroom down a hall, according to the prosecutor. Inside, he sexually assaulted the man despite his protest to stop and gain it and take a photo of his genitals. <laughs> Within minutes after Calhoun left, the man told the hospital staff about what happened. Swabs were taken from the victim's matched Calhoun's DNA. All oh, gross. Reve and revealing photos of the victim were recovered from Calhoun's phone. Wow. <sighs> yes, G. Just. Oh my, is right. It's yes. been a tough week for cops. I gotta say, wow. <laughs> it's been a tough, tough, for cops. tough week for cops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't touch that one. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. Like that's that's high on the uh, story of weird yeah, weirdness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So I, as you have this guy in custody, you had the urge so much so that you felt like you had to massage the guy's foot. He can't wait for the other cop to go to lunch. <laughs> Take my hour too. Take as long as you want. And wow. then decides to massage his feet and take pictures of his junk. Bruh. His junk. He needs help. Wow. Yes. These are the guys out here shooting 20 shots, huh? This is, this, is, this is what we have, huh? Yeah. Wow. Any thoughts, anyone? No, we can't no. touch it. Mm -mm. No, not. Yeah, no. no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a quick break. I'll pray back. for him. Yeah, that's all, that's all we can yes, do. Yes. That's all we Pr can prayers do. Prayers and thoughts. That's it. Yes. Sunday morning breakfast. We'll be right back. Unexpected reactions to smart financial decisions brought to you by FeedThePig.org. Well, I finally did it. I opened a 401k. So you're giving up. Just like that. Giving up on what? I'm getting an inheritance from a distant relative. Don't you think if there were a billionaire in the family, we'd know about it by now? Listen to me. We are one phone call away from riding horses on our own private polo grounds. One call from christening yachts, having a butler, using summer as a verb. How do you figure? Look, everyone's got a rich uncle somewhere. It's statistics. So the best thing you can do is just prepare for the inevitable. Right, which is why I thought maybe it would be smart to take control of my finances. You know, start using a budget, get out of debt, set some retirement goals. Budgets? Debt? You watch your mouth. Retirement shouldn't be a goal for us. It should be a way of life. When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. It's 6.42 p.m. Time for Steve Plato and his son Dylan to do the dishes. They talk about everything from the yuckiness of girls to the awesomeness of his soccer team. Sometimes they don't talk at all. Then, hey! the dreaded <laughs> splash fight. It's dad o'clock, and it's the best time of the day. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Today, my new dad threw a barbecue. Today, my new son and I threw a barbecue. There were burgers and chicken. I burnt everything. The burgers, the chicken, the salad. Ah, they were delicious. They were awful. And then, and then we had watermelon. <laughs> I'm allergic to watermelon. And then we played catch. I broke Mr. Lewis's window. Mrs. Wakeham's window. Mrs. Wakeham's windshield. And then, somehow, my hand. My hand! <laughs> and then my dad even let me drive his car. The hospital's on the right! 
It was a rough day. It was a great day. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie, this is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before you get married. C, take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve. Is now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D, help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. Why don't you sit down and shut up? What? Why don't I sit down and what? I said, why don't you sit down and shut up? Sit down and shut up. 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 Yes, Sunday morning breakfast sit down segment winners and losers for the week of March 25th. Let's get to the winners. We know who is your winner for this week. I've got two. So the first uh, pair of winners are Jay Z and Puffy. Okay. Yes. So they are getting together to start an app that shows black businesses in your area. Yes. yes. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, for now, we would consider it If you're in an area and you say to yourself, boy, I want to support my people <laughs> yes, absolutely. and keep our businesses alive. That's dope. Yeah. Then, yes, there'll be an app that can lead you in that direction. Now, Puffy made a statement that this is not about being um, you know, inclusive mm -hmm. against other cultures, but supporting our own. Of course, well, that's, 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 that's a good. I guess there, that's absolutely. done in Jewish communities. That's done it's in Asian done. communities. Absolutely. It's done in every other community, uh, but ours, for the right? most part. Fair so enough, there enough. you have it. Yes. And also, my second winner is the eating establishment Wendy's. Oh yeah. Yo, these clowns have put out a mixtape. I think I got one of the songs too. I want to hear this. Let's do this. I can't front. Introduction's hot. Okay. Okay. It's kind of dope. We gonna get that work. Ooh, what? Oh. Red head with some pigtails, better check the score of these mill cell. Now that's better. I'm so clever. My oh. bars chill, right. better grab a sweater. You Can't you see your kids dabbing to this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually has lyrics. What? I wanna bank it in it right now, just thinking about it. I'm a boss chick, and they hate with that. But we tried to fool with a flavor at you number one. That's a joke. Why your ice cream machine always broke? Why you try to do it? McDonald's slander? Yes. You think you Yo, think Ronald McDonald's in the booth right now ready to respond? <laughs> Wendy's Wendy's has been putting some work on the on, on the climax. Well, he better get Mac tonight and <laughs> Hamburglar, Grimace, the whole team, yo, because they've been they've been getting hard on McDonald's. So they've been doing the, some serious climax. Mm. Queen Wendy up in this thing. They, they need to change that chick from Wendy's to a black chick now. Change that emblem. Please, please, Dave is rolling in his grave. Calm down. <laughs> Dave Thomas would be proud. Yo, Yo this what? is dope. Yeah, I can't so, front. I got to give him that. Again. The song is called Rest in Grease. <laughs> uh, again, pure foolishness, but um, no, you know, I'll give him that. I'm here for it. And, yes. uh, so here's another yeah. four for four dollars as another title. We beefing. They have uh, an album? Yeah, yeah, they have, yeah, you hear me say mixtape? I thought it was a, a mixtape with like two or three songs. It's, it's, a, like Wendy, a, it's a Wendy's diss EP is going at McDonald's and Burger King. They got an EP. I don't know. Is Wendy's behind this or is yes. this? Nah, this is a Wendy's thing. Wow. I'm pretty sure the marketing team has. Yo, no, Wendy's is all this. over Twitter going back and forth with other burger joints. Yes. They, are, they are joining us in this uh, millennium here. That's actually smart. They're part of Petty Inc. So. That's smart. I, I, I do the hiring here. here. <laughs> 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 okay. You've been asking for your check. They're, they're, they're joining, okay? <laughs> That's pretty smart. Yeah, yeah, All good right. for them. Boys, who was your winner for this week? I don't know if I could tap that. But I'm going to give it to two people. I'm going to give it to these kids definitely doing the march. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely speaking out to the point that they even are president of the United States is uh, giving the NRA some trouble. So definitely shout outs to them. Second thing, quickly, the woman that stepped up against the Harvey Weinstein company now has made the company file for bankruptcy. So definitely mm -hmm. shout outs to your power. All right. Uh, Crystal, who's your winner for this week? 
Byron Allen, who bought um, the yeah, Weather, the Channel. Weather Channel, right? For, for three hundred yeah. million. Three hundred million. Another black man. He was sitting on some M's and definitely, definitely made a smart decision. Yes. I go to the Weather Channel at least once a day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Once a day. Can, can someone tell me what Byron Allen, who he is exactly? Like, He's I know a, who he is, right. and I've seen, I watch his show all right, the time, right, right, every right. now and then, his little right. uh, comic, Uncensored. Right. But he's very unfunny. He's right. <laughs> he's actually a cornball, but he's he ridiculously owns, like, rich. He, oh, he's at a yeah. production company. He's Why? like Because he owns, he owns a few shows yes. that uh, we've seen and we've watched. But and, don't know and, that he's behind. Right, exactly. Right, okay. So he has a production company. I think he's owned another network. I believe. Not really sure. It has but to be. Like, yeah, he's like yeah, Oprah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him for one thing, but, like, he's right. ridiculously rich. He's had that show on Late Night. With, with, the with Comics Unleashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He mm -hmm. has two versions of it. He has a black version. It's like Hot Chocolate Unleashed or right. some stupid shit. <laughs> That's right. it. I can't make this up. Right. But good for him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my way goes out to everybody who planned the... Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who planned uh, the, uh, the baby shower for yesterday. Uh, it was greatly appreciated. Had a lot of fun. So uh, thank you, everybody, for good that. Time. All right. Uh, let's get to losers. Be who's your loser, sir? Ah, so my loser is another Wendy, but this is Wendy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> for shitting on, <laughs> for shitting on Tamar Braxton yes. and her new haircut mm -hmm. and style, yes. apparently. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is, regardless of what, where does Wendy find the nerve? <laughs> is, is, she, is she serious? But that's her thing. That's what Wendy does. Though. Yes, but have some looks on you first before you oh, shit on someone man. else's looks. Oh, no, 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 Wendy. Man. Wendy is more manly than you and I put together. Right, fair, crap. Enough, fair okay? enough. So fair enough. she has no business talking about Tamar's look. And I actually think that haircut looks decent on Tamar. It does too, not look actually. bad at all. Right. But regardless of what I think or anyone else thinks, it's Tamar's hair. She yes. wants to do that. That's her business. Like, mm -hmm. Where does Wendy come from with that? And keep look good doing it. She look good with it. Seriously. All right, uh, who is your loser, sir? All right, so uh, two losers I'm going to give. I'm going to give it first to, uh, we already spoke about it, Trey Songz, for that foolishness that he did. I tell you. And I'm going to give it to myself. Sorry. I'm going to give it to myself. That's probably a alert for me. <laughs> right, okay. That's me. For being late from yesterday, paying for not only my tire, but parking my car and stupidly forgetting to pay the damn parking ticket. Right. So because of that, I got a ticket from the NYPD. Yeah, you had access. you had some sort of day yesterday. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. So I get what I deserve. I know Next your diary was make sure. lit last night. I'm sure. <laughs> oh yes. yes, I'm gonna make sure that uh, I'm gonna change my life. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> right. Crystal, who is your loser for this week? Um, my loser for this week is going to Bakari Warren. Okay. Um, <clears throat> she was driving with her two children and thought it would be a perfect moment to teach them a valuable lesson. Warren switched from her northbound direction to go southbound in the opposite lane after asking the kids to buckle up. She then purposely crashed her SUV into a concrete pole to teach the lesson that God is real and no matter what happens, he will protect you from the crash. Maybe we uh, take the kids away there? Yep. Yeah. ASAP. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. A effing sap. Unbelievable. My uh, loser goes out to uh, Cardinal Timothy Dolan. So yesterday he had the, uh, he had, I guess, I believe he was talking to Fox News and he had come out and said that Democrats have a bend in the Catholic religion. See, I, I thought religion was about, wasn't supposed to be necessarily bipartisan. One, two, the idea that you have the nerve to mention one party where the other party is led by a gentleman who has basically violated every commandment you can think of, and all of a sudden it's the Democrats' problem that they've abandoned the, 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 the Catholic religion. Stay out of politics. Just keep it religion, Just please. Leave it the hell alone. Leave yeah. it the hell alone. Unbelievable. Right, Ziggs, Ziggs has a statement before you right. go. Ziggs says, voice and NYPD now have an official rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> That is not a good thing. That it's is not war. a good thing. Oh, As if you and Verizon wasn't enough. Yes. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's do our shout outs. Be no oh, no, we're sorry, voice. Who's your shout out, sir? Shout outs to Team Ocean Side. Shout outs to Hunter, Miss Barbie. Uh, shout outs to uh, you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. For yesterday, definitely. And uh, I'm going to see you later, actually. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Oh, I don't know what that means. Crystal, uh, I'm kind of petrified. <laughs> Crystal, your shout-outs. Um, I want to shout-out EGL. We are going to be streaming this show live on there uh, no. from next week. But yes. this week, we're going to load it up for them. No. So, um, and I want to shout-out to all my friends and family. All right, Bino, your shout-out, sir. Yes, yes shout-out to Sweet Mama, as always. Hey, right sound effect this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Shout-out to Boris for the right sound effect <laughs> this week. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, you know, I won't be here next week. <laughs> uh, anyway, no shout out to you. Yeah, Lovely you, uh, baby shower yesterday. You. Shout out to Corinne. Okay. The uh, five minutes we were there, we had a wonderful time. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, exactly. Yeah, it was oh, a That's right. Hugged uh, every old lady in the room. It was a good time. Uh, shout out to everybody who came by once again. Uh, shout out to everybody on the thread, everybody who watched, who listened. Appreciate the love. Shout out to the family. 
Um, and yeah, man, Sunday morning breakfast. Thank you, everybody. We'll be ne- we'll be back next week. Peace out.